Shoddy, she a freak, 10 10 freak. She no one speak, she want beat to the beat. I'm the voice of the sheep, it's a freak in the sheet. She want me for a tea, I got me for your meat. Oh, yeah, man. Shoddy, she not bad, man. <laughs> I say I don't even want to know where you're talking about. It was it was one like nobody's there. Like it was like in the middle of the day. It was like nine o'clock, but it was during the summer and like nobody was around or nothing. It just felt really eerie. Like yeah. but it's just one of those spaces like if people are there you don't want to be there. Yeah, no cap. Especially when there's just gangs just chilling there. Just man your own work. I can't believe Ireland has gangs. I still refuse to believe it exists. <laughs> Everyone right? has like, gangs. Like what like what did he do here? Oh, shock you. <laughs> shock you. No, that, what did he do? That's a very shock Carlo you. thing to say, Ross. That's a very Even Carlo, Carlo thing. Has guys. Carlo? Yeah. What? I lived yeah. in Carlo, like, for how many years of my life? Like, over 20 years of my life. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, is yeah. in Carlo? People guys. came to Carlo to do things that they couldn't do in other counties. As in, like, I'm trying to keep it clean because we're on camera. Yeah, no, but basically, mean. someone OT, came to OT. Carlo to off themselves. Like, yeah. Really? Oh, I was thinking of something. I was thinking yeah, of something. Yeah, I was thinking of something. That's why I was saying, yeah, we, didn't, like, we didn't have like shootings or stabbings or stuff. Like, <laughs> what? Why did I laugh? <laughs> I don't know. I think you laughed at the way I said it. You laughed at the way I said it. No. I just laughed. Laugh. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all that ever happened in Kylo, so it'd be like scandalous. Like, someone from outside Kylo's Kylo so came cheap. to do something. It's so cheap. It was, yeah, that's why I lived there for that long. No, I just saw him. I must go Kylo next week. I, you probably How fast Carlo? Like 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 yeah, like there's hour, a yeah, massive like and Golan community <laughs> yeah, in Carlo. Yeah, actually, I have been in Carlo all my days. I have. <laughs> Are you in Golan? Uh, no, I'm Congolese. Oh, yeah. you're not looking. Really? Yeah. I look Nigerian. No. Oh, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> no. I get that a lot. What does it look like? Do you know, mm. me, remember when we went to um, the UK? I went to Coco Cure. Remember that guy? <laughs> Nah, who's the no, guy? He came from Mali. See, you laugh, Mr. Mali. Right. You laugh, that's the guy. Mr. Mali. Does he not look kind of like that guy? Nah, nah, no, nah. I don't nah. remember. Nah, me as well say now. See, there was a lot of alcohol that night. Oh, you laughed. I saw him on Snapchat. <laughs> Coco Cure, where's Coco Cure? It's a club. Is this club in the UK? It's, it's lit. Oh. Definitely go. Show face next time. Is it your seat? No, no, no. No? No. Yeah, even after the week that I had, I went to Manchester. I don't, I don't think. I don't like going out anymore. I don't like, okay, I'm going to go out. Manchester's lit though. Okay. No, Manchester's sick to go out Manchester, there. Manchester like, is where, very where, lit. Where have you been at Manchester? <laughs> no, the last place I went to was Boulevard. Boulevard, yeah, yeah. That's where yeah. I went to. But like, obviously, it's not the club. It's the people in the club. Do you get me? Well, First of all, know? why do men under 25 like to take so much snaps in the club? <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we, we had that little... It why is there uh, silence boy versus on this side? Who has, <laughs> why is there silence in the club? Who has more fun? I don't take shit. Nah, me and this guy were vibing. It's cool to vibe, right? It's cool to vibe. Cool, we're just vibing and whatnot. Was he getting bottles? I had my glasses. Yeah, he was... What do you mean? Like what was like a bottle shop coming yeah, it was a, no no it's not like a bottle thing in fact anyways <laughs> let me just focus so obviously like we're vibing whatnot i had my glasses on and you took a snap of us together i don't i just met you there anyways and then he went to send to this girl on a snap called debbie i said so he took a photo of you so to send to another female he wanted to send it to another girl i was like wait a Damn. minute like, did, what's you say, did you stick with him huh did you stick with him no i didn't stick with him yeah, but um, it's the main point is why did you want to take a snap with me and send to a girl called who's debbie Debbie's a girl who's trying to ginger. You guys are quiet. You guys are so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm, I'm, He's ginger I'm, I'm, and okay. Debbie. I'm, I'm Debbie's observer. going to be pissed. I like to listen and watch his... I don't know. No, maybe he's just trying to get Debbie jealous. Yeah. Yeah. That, Debbie is going to be That's human. Childish. Debbie will open the phone and I've seen one fine up. black babe with shining white teeth and be like, huh? I love you. <laughs> no. <laughs> maybe he's just what? asking her, like, Yo, what do you, you think of this girl? Like, you never know. The club. Guys can have girls, friends, you know. So you think he was trying to pimp Debbie out? He's friend who's a female no also, like probably maybe asking their opinion like you know guys need female perspectives can well. i say the guys Sorry. the type of guys i like at the club okay so they've ordered the brittle service here the girls are working doing this so you like the bottom voice no you didn't let me land that's the don't come i'll send you out so i like so obviously the girls come to bottle service and they look at their phone like this like they didn't even order that's kind of okay i like the ones who will pay for the drinks and leave me alone after thank you I yeah. love He's those ones. No, but girls have an easy man in clubs. What? Yeah, yeah we, we do. Are, we no, do. we don't have an easy because you have to fend off niggas. Like, uh, yeah. yeah, but you have to fend off niggas. But if you wanted to, you like you really don't have to if you don't want to. You know that. Like girls have it so easy. Us guys is like we're walking in already. Even walking in, sometimes we have to pay extra because we don't have females with us. That makes sense. Yeah, because they know you're there <laughs> for the females. Oh, crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh
<laughs> what are you there for? <laughs> I just want to. I just want to say something real quick. I mean, move on from this family. club thing. I Did you just say guys go out just to have a good time in the clubs? Yeah. 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 Since well, when? you've never been out with us then. Trust, we go out just to have a good time, like have a bit of crack. That's like, what I was going to say. See, you're the type of men I like to go out with. Just go have See, a ones that crack. I can just go and have crack and with. I, I mean, you might get, you, you, you might be burst. Few like, shots, you might yeah? be, yeah, a few shots. What? Shot. That's, that's, that's few. not my order 20, though. A few, 50. A few shots, you're yeah. definitely getting licked, like 100%. <laughs> well, you guys, yeah. like, lads, bring me out. It's been a while. 100%, like, you, like, you won't survive the night. Yeah. No way. I won't survive. Sometimes I don't want to survive. I barely survived the gala. I barely survived. Right. Nah. To round up this club thing, guys, you will have so much fun in the club if you go with the intention of not wanting to knack every girl you see. Okay? It's not every day. Why'd you laugh? Knack. Why'd I la- Why'd oh, you yeah, laugh? I'm going to laugh at everything. Because it's, it's true, not, I, I agree, innit? It's because not every it's like, day knack. Because you're not going to have a good time. You're not going to get that. You know what I mean? Like, if you go on a vibe friends. of whatever happens is in God's hands, you'll have a good time. That's all I need to say. I'm just to funnel. Who has more fun on a night out, girls or boys? Girls, cash, one thousand percent. I wasn't expecting that. Let yeah. me tell you why. Let me tell you why, girls, because you get everything for free. Everything's there for you. So all you I'm need not. to do is wear the clothes and go. True. No, the way I look at it. <laughs> <laughs> the, no, the way I look at it is right. Girls will come to a club. Whether there's girls or guys there, we're going to be on the floor shaking yash mm. on each other, even without the guys. Guys go to a club and they're standing. Yeah. yeah, but you know the truth is, yeah, it's because you like. I feel like with Irish girls, you don't like, you know, you don't like to, you know, throw it back. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. We, no, <laughs> we don't have problems with throwing it back. The problem is no, if we throw it back, we end up in everyone's group chats the Shame next up. day. Shame. Everyone being like, and you know what? You could literally just be having a good time, just having fun dancing, and it'd be nothing more than a little wine, you know, a little cheeky that's wine. Life, there. Like, that's just no, that's just but how life Ireland, works. Well, we need to figure out Ireland's version of the shade borough. <laughs> Like, it's actually a problem. When you go out and you, you do those things, you end up in everybody's group chats the next day. Everybody knows who you are talking to. And even to. Debbie knows. And it blows over <laughs> after a day or two. It's only a yeah. day or two. One day, two exactly. days, you're back. Sorry. Like, they never have even exchanged numbers. What? A little bit of Sean Paul comes on, you know, you're feeling it. It's just too small. Yeah, Ireland's way too small. Yeah. That's even if you branch out to Carlo, we still are not like... Oh, see I, how I knew you. Do you you didn't me? know me, but I knew you. Too small, man. But never heard anything bad about you. Right, <laughs> of course, <laughs> quite, quite a lot I have. That's all funny. you're safe. You're safe. Nothing bad. Okay, guys, let's let's do the intro. So, welcome back to GTG, baby. You Your Ooh. weekly subscription Ooh. to the J. You guys are too okay, <laughs> Anyways, okay, guys, let's got... get into gist of the week. Do you guys know what gist of the week is? Wait, the intro. The intro. To, uh, no, we were going to say their names, babes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. she's, she's comfortable with you guys. That's <laughs> yeah. all. So, right. So, to my left. Gina Management. Wow. Is, is your name actually Gino? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> to my right. Babyface, DJ Babyface, Jeremiah. Um... Can I introduce him properly? Yeah, go on, go on, do it, do it, do it. DJ Babyface, Mr. Love, Love, what's going on? Wait, what language is that even? It's a Irish language. It's a bit of everything. What does it mean? It's my name, innit? I'm um, all fine. Right? Add it to the end. That's the Yoruba. I don't. Did you believe it's level of girl? We're all fine. Yay! We love it. I'm um, all fine. Just means fine boy. I'm um, all fine. I'm mm-hmm. um, all fine. I can like I can say it. Is yeah. That, like, first person. Yeah, you um, can even fine. say it. Yeah. I'm um, all fine. fine. I'm a fine boy. Yeah. I'm um, all fine. Franchement, wesh. Franchement. Eh? Right. No, just so the week. Oh, introduce yourself <laughs> now. Yeah, Nestor. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, Nestor. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are clowns. You guys are actually clowns. Let's record that shit, boy. What? Yeah. Let's record that shit. What was it again? Let's record that shit. Let's record that shit, but I don't record your shit. Oh. Damn. <laughs> Is that your tag? You don't record whose shit? <laughs> whose shit? <sighs> I think now. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> just for the week. Just for the week. Just for the week. Try to skip your intro, guys. Um. Yeah, just the week. The first just the week is: Have you been hearing about the Drake Kendrick versus Chris Brown and Kerry Quavo beef? I heard Office Brown and Quavo's one. What did you What did you think about it? Chris Brown smoked them. He did. Wow. Smoked even when he, him. Even when he said, um, I list- people act- wish he was dead instead of you. Take off. I don't know. That was a hard no, one. No, he, 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 he had a couple of bars. He's too talented. 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 He's too talented.
You did, did he actually know? say that? Yeah, 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 baby, he did. I, I pulled out the lyrics. Okay. <laughs> he said you should have died. He said I slept with your ex. And like, it was just really a lot. And like, he ate every bar. Yeah. He said you got it, smoked by a singer, nigga. He goes, <laughs> don't let this R&B shit fool you. Niggas get ripped to shreds. Quavo talking like he a thug. Nigga, you a bitch with dreads. Damn. God, that was the first yeah, four sentences. <laughs> First four sentences. Oh. People he forgot. came on smoke. I'm like, he yeah, smoked that's smoke. Came on smoke. Yeah, yeah. Chris Brown. He says, you fucked my ex ho. Hey. That's cool. I don't give a fuck, little nigga. Because I fucked your ex when you were still with her, bitch. I'm up, little nigga. <laughs> It's, it's a little nigga. You know when people are like, go see a little friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The day, the day I live, and song goes, um, oh, how's your little pocket? Oh my gosh. Like you're really just little boy. I'm Wait, someone adult. said, how's your little podcast? No, the day they do, Ross. Oh, they can't say that. But if they try, they should to. have. You should have. I can't fight, but that day, really? that day, I'm fighting. I'm, yeah, I'm fighting. Nah, I'm nah, nah. In. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to see what else he said that was like crazy. He mentioned something about he CD. Wait, I need to find the this. funny thing about Drake and Chris Brown is that they're both light skinned. So is it like a is it like a retrograde? Like are they going through something that they have to come for everyone? Yeah, probably. I'm going but, through it too. Really? Yeah. What happened? But just, you're fighting. Okay. I'm fighting everyone. But the way I think they're taking it back a bit, kind of like old school, because this is what they used to do in the mm. days. Like when you had beef, you were wrapping it out. Like put put all your words into. My thing is, yeah. Where was it like two years ago? Who was beefing like two years ago? Like why? Like where did the beef come from? Oh like, yeah, it just kind of like a theory, Ross, that like this could possibly be AI. Yeah, I was like, I've, I've listened mm. to it somewhere. And people are like, are these rappers actually beefing, or is this an AI generated? Why are they actually beefing? Because people were mm. saying, um, what's his name? J Cole came out with a diss, then apparently got on stage and apologized. Mm. Huh? But yeah. that's something J Cole would do. Yeah, yeah, I want like he's There's, a bit yeah. Like why did you get involved do in the that? Process? Because he just got a little heated and then he came back to reality. You got heated. That's what Jacob. the pens to Pippa, puss yeah. to the beats. You it was even mid. Online. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, I didn't wait, even listen why, to why it. Why do you have to? Why do you have to apologize over a diss track? That's how you feel in it. Mm. If you're an artist, you put it out there. I don't know. It's crazy. That's like Stormzy. Stormzy dropping diss track and then apologizing for it. You lads, I he would never really Stormzy sense. ever. Stormzy would also never. Yeah. His diss track against what's that guy? Chip. Chipmunk. Yeah, that not was Chipmunk. No, that one did a bang. The other one. Huh? No, the, it banged, but not as much as the one against that old guy. W- Wally, Wiley, yeah. Wiley, yeah, 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 yeah. That one was sweet. It was a good song. It was really good. It's Listen mean. to that in the gym. It's like mad. This. But apparently, like, Drake is not just beefing J. Cole. So it's like, J, what was it? It's Futures involved? Mm-hmm. He had a oh, yeah, book. Yeah. I went to go look up the lyrics because apparently he said something where it was like, Futures only number one, Futures first number one came from him. Yeah. So he's like, I'm just... They really just showing shots at each other. Like, showing shots. shots. I love the bar when Drake was like, "This is the closest thing you're gonna get to a feature." I felt that. I thought that was so. Yeah. Amazing. So his first opening bar goes, "I could never be nobody's number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Shit. That was directed <laughs> to Future." How are you supposed to actually on smoke? Yeah. Oh. To what? I don't get it though. Like, are they bored? They're just trying yeah, to I just do it. Like, 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 it's so. obviously been on the line issues. Mm-hmm. Like, if Chris Brown is saying that yeah. he fucked someone's Did bitch. You, obviously, mm-hmm. it's been like it's not yesterday. It happened. Did you see Rick Cross came out and said? For <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Drake had a BBL like that. Like, <laughs> 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 finished. Did it, Scotty? Yeah. Someone said uh, Rick Ross was trying to gaslight us into thinking Drake is white. <laughs> it was yeah, so yeah. funny. <laughs> it was That's so funny, hilarious. but apparently, like Drake also came for like Rick Ross on it. So it has something to do Crazy. with. Apparently, Rick Ross, before he became a rapper, he was like um, Fed, uh, a correctional yeah, yeah, officer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rick Ross? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was a correctional yeah. officer. Correctional officer? Like, like, I need to uh, find... Police, uh, um, a yeah. prison officer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's I need crazy. to find the bar. Yeah. It's so funny. I like even his sister or his ex or something that exposed him or something like that. Shit. It's crazy. It's yeah. so What's funny. What's his wife's name? Um, Tiana or something, is it? I don't know. She's crazy, man. As well. I have to really? check her. Crazy as in how? What does she do? Just on social media. like She just acts mad like that. Crazy. Rick Ross? Is, uh, his, um, his is wife. it the new wife that he married or something? Or is this an old wife? Old one, old one, old one. Okay, yeah. sorry. Not to be okay. careful because okay. apparently the Drake confused. and Sting beef, Drake and Future and Metro and whatnot, it's sorry because of a girl. So it's always over because of a girl. Apparently now, I wish These girls I are evil, girl. you know. Hmm? Women. What did you say? Hmm? Let's do You don't you say it. Like can I say one chest? Yeah, listen, like all love and all that. But listen, they said it after God fear women, innit? Guys, why do every guy that comes on the pod says it? On what? our part. What did Pastor we do David, this? what Bible chapter was that in? And please tell me there best have been something there with men. <laughs> you said after God fair women. Is that in the Bible at any No, way? I didn't say it was in the Bible. You know, I said people say. 
People say, yeah, yeah, yeah. men, who <laughs> hurt you? No one hurts. Who hurt us? Stories, like, okay? stories, like, stories you hear. You, give, you hear scary. the modest stories. Oh, stories. No, no, you don't hear. I see. <laughs> but hey, you know what's I mad? See. All this rap beef that's going on, they're the ones even saying about, I fucked your girl, I fucked this. Why are they not being held accountable? Why is it the women that's That's what I'm calls? saying. It's, it's just. But they're bros, I'm not the girl. Fear, man. How could you say, I wish you you died instead of your brother? Yeah, that was crazy. No, that was crazy. That's Come on. That's beef. That's beef. Well, he didn't actually say, I wish you died. He said, people. No, let me read this. Let me read this. Let Let's me read go. this. Cause I got I got the facts. He he said what he said, sir. He said what he said. Like way back in the <laughs> I need, to, I need to find a way. What's this? Chris oh Brown link is like, ooh. He said what he said. I've been under a rock, man. I feel, what? Where I'm, have you been? I don't know. This is your place. Where have you been? <laughs> I genuinely This stuff is un- unavoidable, though. I, like if you miss me. <laughs> yeah, but he did. But he did say people been saying like, what? What did he say? He said he goes R.I.P. Take off. He's the only real one that got true respect. Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, so he didn't say that, he though. said that. He said people yeah. were that's saying that. Really? That's, that's, but that's did he not just come up yeah. with this lyric? Yeah, but he said people. people said. Saying He's afraid it. of people, no? No, but he what? said people. You, you never said he yourself. He said, "Let me tell you, I'm not the only one who dislikes you. Everybody dislikes Literally. you too." That's what he said. He that's put it on a picture. He painted it for you. What? It I, mean, it I, don't think I, could, I don't think I could handle it this track. No. I can't. I, can I think we, I think you could. Do you think? Yeah, you're very hey, don't get it twisted this babe. Don't get it twisted. You just need someone to like properly write down the bars for you, but we can definitely No, cook no, it. I mean like hearing one about me. Oh. No, oh. I think but I think he'd reply really well. Yeah, I think well. I'd laugh at mine. Mm. I think I, I want someone to diss me. Mm. Right. <laughs> All right. Right. Drama. That's what we're gonna do next episode. Minute, but, like, it's a bit of, yeah, sometimes you keep people on their toes, I hear it. I hear it. person like I think someone tweeted um someone tweeted I hate. Oh, I someone tweeted, "I hate GTG Demi on Twitter." Oh. Mm-hmm. And the next thing I tweeted was, "God is good." That's the type of person I am when it comes yeah, to people coming to me. No, I am Wait, so different. I, I just said, "God is good." But what did you do for them to hate you? No, nothing. she actually it was nothing. It is being motivators. Yeah, no, yeah, it was really, really Big wild. Per. Another just oh sorry, baby. No, 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 go on. Go Another on. just of the week is Neil thinks polo- Ish. polygamy. Pol- yeah, polygamous. Oh, polygamy. Yeah. Polygamy. No, but polygamous. polyamorous. Thank polygamy. you so much. Polyamorous marriages should be legalized. Never. <laughs> I want to know what's poly, yeah, poly, 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 what does poly, that poly, mean? Poly, yeah, <laughs> poly, yeah. 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 Open relationship. Ah, oh, no, 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 never, never. Why? Possibly. What do you mean, why? <laughs> they're chatting because Honestly, they're on camera. <laughs> no, 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 let me be very honest here. Yeah. I don't disagree. I just want to know your reasoning. I don't see any point. What's the point? I can't put, me personally, I'm going to speak for me. I can't put the effort I'm putting for one girl to multiple people because, like, What's the point? Mm-hmm. What, like, what's the point of getting in a relationship if you want to, like? So she, when when you're experience. single, do you only see one person at a time? But when I'm single, when if I'm dating, yeah, yeah. Because when you're what, single, well, no, 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 no. When you're single. When I'm single, yeah. am I only dating one person at a time? Yeah, because I can't put too much time <laughs> into Yo, yo I'm calling cop. cop. <laughs> <laughs> These are my own friends, it imagine. Is, I'm calling yeah. cop. Well, obviously, like, you're That's single. So like, funny. See, okay, okay, wait, wait. Pause, pause, wait. I love the So, wait, what's, 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 okay, if you're single, right? You're dating. Are you dating these people as meaning you're going to know them, or are you actually like, do you know what? I want to date this person. The question is yes or no. When you're single, are you dating more than one person? Yes, yes, of course, because I'm single. <laughs> well then, <laughs> <laughs> you have the time and the energy to put into multiple people. Yeah, but like, but not if I'm in a, if I'm in a relationship. If I commit, why would I? Why am I committing to like four other people, three other people? But see, that's the thing. He ain't committing. Yeah. So you're saying that it's for a girl, then it's okay for a girl to be in a poly because the guy's not committing. No, no, no but he's, I don't agree with poly. Anyways, not committing. Yeah. I don't agree so with like, poly. he was literally walking the street hand in hand with two girls. Yeah, that's, that's, no. No, that's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. No, no, that's my, my argument is, like, if you don't believe in polygamy, then when you're single, like, if you're looking to date and be in a relationship, are you dating more than one person? No. Listen. That's what I said. That's why I answered that question, no, because how am I trying to get to know somebody and then it's but like doing talk- the same thing to someone else? Do you get me? It's like, so you, you can start, you can, okay. like, you can fall, like, I don't oh, want to fall for, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> I don't want to fall for two people at the same time. Yeah, I don't want to be able to choose. Hmm, who am I gonna go to? Then say, uh, listen. One thing I learned about females, yeah, you don't mess with their emotions or their feelings. That's why I say that. Do you get me? Please, thank oh. you very much. <laughs> <laughs> this is an emotionally intelligent oh, person wow. over here. I love that. <laughs> the thing that I find really funny yo, about yo, the Neo I, I thing is cop. that he—you well, call it cap. Don't mind this guy, bro. Of course no. he's gonna call it cap, bro. Don't mind. Which part is cap? Which part? And you can continue all your. <laughs> <laughs> 
So what I was saying is that I find it so funny that Neil is the man who's behind the polyamorous relationships, but he's the same guy who comes out with Miss Independent. 100%. Like, all the songs that he talks about is, like, being in love with one woman, oh, but here he is. I'm sorry, but that Miss Independent song was a banger. That, that was, was a banger. <laughs> it still is. Miss Independent. Come on, Nesta. That's why I love her. Give it to them. Mm-hmm. Wow, you don't know the lyrics. <laughs> 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 Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Do you also, still rate Neo though, even though he's polygamy, poly- polyamorous? I can separate the music from the artist. Mm. I can do well, that. We've, except, had, mm. we've had that except well, from one specific have, artist. We've had that debate. <laughs> I don't mess around with R. Kelly. I'm so sorry. I can never listen. I can never listen to his music again. It, when did I we find out? When did we find out Neo was bald? Bald. I found out back Miss Independent days. Yeah, as soon as I something, found out. Something, why'd you think? The movie stumped the air. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think once I found out he was bald, I just stopped listening. Ooh. What? Ooh. Yo. Demi, Ooh. how can you stop listening? Ooh. I don't know. I just, but you I, know what? I, I think like he, he rocks me. the bald look really well. He didn't tell me well. he was bald. He yeah, didn't I, tell me. Listen, I had to find I, out. I, I don't see him with hair. That looks weird. Yeah. Neo with hair. Know, like, top. You know what I'm looking at? Thinking about Neo now. It would be weird. I just... He's a baldy, like. Hey, fight me! <laughs> I just, I don't know, like I just remember I was a kid as well, so like you lied to me. You just gonna tell me I, bald people are cool. Like I like my dad's bald. Shout out to him. But like I didn't know he was bald. I felt I feel tricks. I don't like being tricked. from the hats. Hmm? You felt tricks from the hats. <laughs> <laughs> Those beanies. I think things I've been so dead ass. I don't like people. No, you are. I don't, I don't like. I, I don't like lying. I don't like being tricked. I'm okay. Not getting that shit. Okay. So if you're gonna come, but come did as you lie? Are from the jump. Yeah, he didn't did lie. he lie though? You just didn't go. And what find is with holding the information? Yeah, but he had a hat. It's just <laughs> you take off the hat, like. Maybe he was taking off the hats in those videos where he's dance moves. I, Maybe you like blinked and you missed I just, it. Just, <laughs> I just, I just, I was. I felt so tricks. you can't listen to Neo at all. I don't really listen to him anyways. He hasn't dropped anything in a while, like oh, in yeah, a hot minute. Awesome, I'm like, like I'm a little heartbroken. I didn't go to his tour. That even when I found out, um, C Breezy, um, does the white stuff. I was like, nah. Yeah, this is that's what I the mean by I can separate the, the artist Sorry, from I'm confused. the schnockter. Oh, the, the the schnock I hear everyone does that. Come I on, have never on, heard on. that word in Come my on. entire life. Are you not Irish? Are you not Irish? I not Irish? Schnockter. It came from bleeding Carlo. No one says that down there. Carlo, they definitely. They never heard that word in my entire existence. Who are you guys all hanging around with? Did you do Irish in school? I did. So schnockter, barely. What's rain? <laughs> wow. Yeah, no wow. What, what is rain? What is rain? Rain and Irish. I never did that. I was actually. I exempt. don't know. Can I, what's rain? Rain. Um. Kerbashi. Kerbashi. Tom Green and Kahlo. Do you know what that one, one is? I know a Kahlo Gum Dulgan Of course I know that one. I don't know. Tom Green and Kahlo. Oh, I am. Great. Oh no, no it's Sunny. Sunny, no. Yeah. Sunny, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm sorry. Damn, you speak like Irish. Damn. Yeah. Barely. Uh, yeah, well, I'm really, I'm really sensitive to those things. But guys, this we're gonna hop into the segment. So guys, you know you love the segment. It's men versus women. Who's better? Oh. Wow. So obviously, in the last episode, with just us, we wanted to talk on hygiene. But obviously, now we have men here. You guys can help us. Who's better, men versus women? Hygiene. Men. Personal hygiene. I I won't lie to you. Men have men. better hygiene than women. You said that with your voice trembled. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened? Do you know? Do you know what's mad? I said men too. It, it is men. I said it. I I think when it comes to hygiene, I think women live in cleaner places than men. Like just something I've noticed from like my uni days and all of that. Like women houses were always cleaner and their bathrooms were cleaner and stuff. But if you're talking about like bodily hygiene, I think men. Yeah. I think women I, have I a lot to do. And women have a lot to upkeep. Yeah, hundred percent. That's why I think men. That's exactly why I think mm. men. Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> like, like, let's be so real, yeah. Mm-hmm. When you go on a night out, yeah. Like, <laughs> let's be, let's be, <laughs> let's be, uh, let's be, let's be one million shit. percent, yeah. Say it let's, loud like, let them hear. Let's be real. I've heard plenty of girls walk past girls and say she is smelling. <laughs> <laughs> it's very rare you hear that the guy is smelling you gave me like more time it's actually like no i was i was in the club on and, and his breath was warm oh, oh. whoa <laughs> whoa whoa not the whoa. warm breath yeah warm. but you know what you can Shout get away with that because a little bit of drinking. extra a bit of warm gummy hat 
What is it? Let's <laughs> brand a partnership. Uh, yeah. yeah. Airways, airways. Airways, there airways, we go. Airways, airways. airways. Don't don't like it. A well, I feel like you can get away with that because like you're drinking and drink actually leaves a bad smell. You get me? But like in terms of like body odor and all, like you came from your house. <laughs> <laughs> listen, one thing I say about body odor, yeah, listen, it's all about what you eat, you know? Mm. If you eat good, you smell good. Mm. It's normal to sweat. People be like, oh, I don't sweat. Mm. You do. It just stinks because you're eating greasy stuff. See that thing that I eat in there? I'm going to smell bad when I sweat. Great. If I eat like Good greens and all that. <laughs> you know, I'm all sat right beside you. What you, eat? <laughs> you, are, you are what you eat. You are what you eat. If you eat yeah, all, yeah exactly. Yeah, you are what you eat. Yeah. Yeah. I was even thinking if you go in a bit more into the complex scientific side of things with women, there's a lot more fluids with women than men. Mm. A lot more. So I think that's where I think it's sometimes a little bit trickier for girls. I think mm-hmm. if men don't upkeep their hygiene, it's hard, like it's easier to tell. I think you it's easier me? to yeah. notice on men. Yeah, that. notice. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah. But I think when things start smelling, it smells worse on women. Yeah, probably. I think so. Yeah, girl. <laughs> girl. That's not what happened. I know so. <laughs> Damn. What did you smell? Uh, no, just- From where? <laughs> I think men are just like. I think keeping up with hygiene with men is so much easier than with women. It's so, like, yeah. all you have to do is, like, look, look how sharp his hair is. Shower, trim, I have you this know? thing for a reason. Perfume. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's all you guys have to do. Girls, your toes, then your manicures, your pedicures, yeah. and your nails. Your hair. Like, mm. laser, yeah, hair. hair removal, waxing. Would you guys tell someone ar- they smell? Hmm? Yeah. Would you uh, yeah. say, ask a question? Like a stranger. Would you tell someone yeah. this? Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. I've told people before. Look, wow. I'm going I'm, I'm to be yeah, so real. Like, it is what it is. Especially if you don't like me over it, like, I'm going to I'm be safe. A stranger? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, I would nah, only tell better, my nearest and dearest. It's better I say it than next person because next person might not even say it and allow you. You may be thinking, like, a lot well, of people don't know they have if no it's, order. But if it's a stranger, like, I'm never going to see you again. You're someone else's problem. I don't like you. but like, exactly. Like, do good. Boys are capping. Bro. They're capping. <laughs> bro, 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 they'll tell, the bro. They will, they will tell their close mates, but they wouldn't tell close a random mate, person. Yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't tell a random person. That's you, know, Aisha, you, you, you wouldn't tell a random person. Aisha. You wouldn't tell a random person. You tell your mates. Like but you wouldn't tell a random person. Yeah, I'm, I'm blunt. I'll say it, bro. Good. Think, yeah. think, think. Me. Think. think. Why are you talking about somebody? Yeah. <laughs> think. But now I feel like if you say it, you just say yeah, it. Like you so, say wait, it how would you say it? So I'm not going to lie, bro. You're stinking, bro. You need to, you need to spray like, so, Do you know people like, has come up to me and be like, yo, tell your friend. I won't lie, like, he's stinking a bit. So, like, more time I have to be like, my bro, people are coming up to me, bro. Like, fix your, <laughs> fix your thing, innit? Like, do you know what I say? Like, yeah, so you I, wouldn't even offer them, like, some deodorant or not? Yeah, no, 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 no. no. Like, this is what I offer, this what I'm to. I offer them make it work. See, citron. <laughs> see, what's citron? Lemon. <laughs> lemon, yeah. You cool, you cool your hair, whatever. You get lemon. You scrub. You sit there for know, about 10 minutes. Do you know what I mean? 10 minutes. And then you wash it. You be fresh. Do you know what I mean? I offer. Like, I offer to help, but like. With the lemons? No, I offer. I say the lemons. I don't go and help them with the lemon. But yeah, I would say, it's ooh, this table. It's okay, it's no, okay. You can move it closer to me so it can lean on me. All right, yeah. next lean one. On me. My legs will keep it up. Men versus women, who's better? Lipson. Girls. Ah, ah. Defo girls. Defo girls. girls. Defo girls. I was thinking about this on my way here, right? Why am I doing this as if I didn't take the bus? Um, <laughs> 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 dead ass, stop the bus. Shout out, y'all. I feel like when I take the bus, I feel like I'm using my taxes. I don't know. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you guys will drive, so... Wait, I, I want to let know because I'm still paying for the bus. I don't know. I just... I forgot about that part. That's Anyways, <laughs> Lipson. I, felt, I was thinking, I was like, I can only remember like three guys in my life. I'm 24. That I can remember being in good lips. Even then. So does that that's mean... sad. But do you not think that's a personal problem? Would you not say that's not a gender no. problem? No, my that's thing, a personal my problem. Thing, so personal. My thing's good. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, I can say the same thing. My mm-hmm. thing is good. I'm not going to say are girls sure are better. Oh, 1,000%. How do you know? Ah. Hmm. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Okay, we'll let you guys finish. So we'll ask each other, like, how do you know? You how know? do you yeah, know? I know, I know because I know tested to you know the survey has been. Co- I said yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, the survey, yeah, the survey. Has been yeah. Yeah. I said well. the survey. Yeah. I don't know because I, I used to doubt myself. I can't. Lie. I, used to, I used to doubt myself. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be like, what? Like, wow. No. And then someone was like, nah. I was like, oh. And then this. Like, let oh, me be so oh, real with you, yeah. I was a poo kisser. <laughs> I even I even bit one girl's lip before. <laughs> oh my yeah, god! Kind of nice sometimes. That was it. No, but nah, this but wasn't there. This way. wasn't like a. You give me. It was, oh, a, it, was a, it was a. It was a quick bleed? one. Ah, I don't know. She didn't bleed. She didn't bleed. But it was still like ah. Well, as of recently, ah, the, the game has been up, yeah. didn't it? Uh, <laughs> 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 you know you're gonna talk. How did you up your game? How did I up it? 
Practice what open mind, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like because I used to have braces. Okay. So like my issue was like I didn't want to kiss anyone, then my braces getting caught under it. So it's mm. like, how do I kiss while using my teeth? Well, mm. you don't use your teeth anyways, but it's like I was extra But you had like braces, so exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. So I was very and then cautious. Okay. You? Well how do I know I'm gonna kiss her? Yeah. My lips are pink. I hear me. That's true. Lips are pink. I That's hear me. Are your lips pink because you kiss too much on your? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that with the pretty wipes. Yeah. Now, now this one time. This tea time. I said, look at this. Look how they're glistening. I like this tea time. I said. Now this one time, um, this guy went to kiss me. And he left like bite marks here. Oh, oh god! Wait, wait, wait! wait. That's yeah. a vampire. No, no, he ate you. He didn't kiss you. He ate your face. Dead ass root. Because like obviously his mouth was big. What the fuck? <laughs> like what? Nah, you don't just swallow. I can't okay. understand that. Well. Like, like here. No, so yeah. Hell. So yeah. Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Give you a munch. Do you know what I'm thinking? Because I'm like, Demi, you've got thick lips. So it's Thanks, like, babe, what was he fur. doing? Um, no. So basically, his mouth was big. So like, it just kind of landed. His mouth was a, he's a, a big mouth man. <laughs> he was a big boy. Yeah. What type of guys do you go for? Inic. First of all, this was Jeez. ages ago. Okay. Don't start that thing. <laughs> punch you. <laughs> so obviously his mouth was like here. Uh. I just went with it because I, I was still new to kissing them. Wait, so, top, like, so, so it was out of it. So like, like, this is my lips. Like, oh, this is my lips. This is his mouth. Hmm? Oh, oh, so your lips oh. are Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, still, I, I was still like new to the kissing thing. Like this was like back in secondary school times. I was I was still new, so I didn't really Did know what continue? to do. I didn't really know until I get one, went home, you know. And listen. That's scary. But I still I still say it's girls. I think it's dead ass. Yeah. yeah. Nah. There was this one no, time. It's girls. Okay. Go on, let's I was gonna say I I wait, Ree. Oh sorry, baby. What you gonna say? I was gonna say, um, yeah, I've surveyed. That's how I know. Not because I swing that way, but it was like, we went to basketball camp and it was a competition and there was basically mm-hmm. like so a bed. basketball camp. And it was like... There's <laughs> 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 always a God knows so basketball camp. I went, I went to a rip and run camp, yeah, basketball camp as well. And one like, it's a bit of master, but it's always them basketball it's camp. It's always the basketball camp. So there was like a bit of a bet going on, basically saying the first person to get with a guy lost the bet and we, you'd have to buy the whole team around the shots. And you know, we're in uni, we're not trying to spend that money. So these guys were moving to us and we just lied that we were a lesbian and they didn't <laughs> believe it and they said prove it so we did <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Damn. she was a pretty great kisser she was mm. yeah but do you not think that two people can like that was just it was a random like, it was a we, random we, thing do you, do you not think like if someone's a shit kisser and someone's okay like do you not think together they can I make each other good I just think there's something mm. about girls lips like I just I won't, yeah. I won't lie there was this one time with the gloss and everything. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. you know, I'll give it to the girls. Yeah, yeah, no, for the gloss. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. the lashes gloss. and the gloss. Yeah, yeah merci. No. no, Reed, who do you think is bad? <laughs> Men or women? Our uh, lips in. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what's so funny, David? I was thinking the same thing. I was just, I was just about to say, Reed's about to go my babes. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> there was this one time I was lip and shoddy. No, I didn't lips. It was just like, my, and she just tastes like strawberries. Yeah, it's got to do with the lip gloss. It's lip gloss. Really it's lip gloss. Sarf. <laughs> yeah, but like you see, men will okay. Men don't put anything on their lips. Just but you know what? Bit. I also yeah, I was gonna say that. When we put, you know, there's a lip combo. There's everything. You know, what I mean, there's. I also want to give it to her where black men as well. Because if you have dipped in across the pond, sometimes the lips be too small. Like, <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> I'm just saying from experience. Mm, mm, mm. I definitely triggered. think women are better. Yeah, no, I'll give it to you. So I'm like, do you know what it is? You get like, you use... Hmm. Is that lip gloss? Man? Yeah, man, it's, it's a lip gloss. gloss. It's a lip gloss. And we know what we're doing. Yo, oh, well, oh, I'm glad you, you said know. that. Okay, I'm so glad you said that. That's so real, yeah. Another reason you can say women is because, obviously, you know, they get down and dirty sometimes. Uh. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? I don't you know understand, no. You know what I'm talking about? Explain. You know what they make that noise? <laughs> You know, Lesa, you came on smoke. That's my guest of this season. Oh my god! 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 O
lip combo is nice and it's glitch. Don't go near her until she goes. She gives you consent. Okay. Yeah, but even a peck, like peck's nope. not gonna ruin it, man. Nope. Nah, not mess, mess, mess my lip gloss. I'm, I'm good. I'll carry it in the bag. I'm good. Mess that shit up. Mess it. Up. Just mess it. Up. Hey, <laughs> take another five minutes. Go toilet. You be alright. Yeah, you'll be back. You'll be fine, babes. <laughs> Even if you like, so even if you like, yeah, you fix it <laughs> onto the next. If She's you like, so disappointed right. in me. This is why I said you're my babes. After not random around the street. After the yes. pictures, you can do Ross Clark. But come just before the pictures. If this is my babes, it's cool. I can fix it, man. You're going to be driving you, anyways. I can rewear that shit. How is your man lipsy? Because if a man lip me, right, the lips is just gonna. Yeah, look. but this is why you bring the lip the liner. Nose, the the lipstick. Gone. He has the highlight. <laughs> You need to lock in the setting spray and carry your lip liner and your lip gloss and but your The way men are listening the these days, that shit don't Girl, let. Who are you lip seeing? Okay. Yeah, I feel like people are be eating your face for the yeah. lips. Yeah. First is a bite snack, now it's not even like, like face. Yes, how do you lip store? Like, if I just done my makeup and I'm listening, the cheeks, everything is gone. See, no, I feel like a lot of people, do you see when people lips, yeah? Like, I feel it's like, not mad. Obviously, it'll be calm, but like, I can see the difference. Oh, okay. Do you get me? No, no one can see. No, no. But like, I will know. Okay, fair. I feel like people are just too horny for a lips like <laughs> so like instead of just I'm going in for the lot. yeah no if you deep it instead of going in for the peck, yeah, peck like cute, cute 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 little cute cute thing people are just oh, going in this guy's like, a lover boy like, oh i'm a lover boy i'm gonna yeah, you, know. you are we can yeah. see it <laughs> 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 like I know so ah. this is like this is my favorite segment like the lips are almost really good you guys you guys held it down all right another one um, I actually want to bring this one because we brought it up with Aniola. So, men versus women, who's better at making music? Hmm. Depends. Hmm. Okay, okay are we talking, wait, are we talking like actually Every. making music or everything in music? No, like making music. So, like artists, writing music, making music, Rain. producing, mm. we'll leave producers aside because mm. that's kind of male dominated that's very anyways. Male-dominated, but like, yeah. um, you know, everything. See, see, because I'm going to kind of argue it because if a girl makes a video and a guy makes a video, a girl's gonna win in the video because she can really just, uh-uh. you know, like she can, she can, she can portray herself in a certain way to where people are gonna <laughs> want to see that. that. You, get well, me? you know what? When a woman portrays herself that way, it's only men wanting to see that. Mm. But when a man does a good music video, like I think Usher Ruin women, did one really yeah. well. Everyone was just and gassed the fact that like he, mm. I was gonna say loyal, loyal blue. Yeah, I'm that's like, crazy. <laughs> I, if you want my opinion, men, yeah. hands down, men. Men. Mm. Yeah. I agree, man, yeah. Men. Um, I actually don't know. That's a don't great question. Mm. That's a very good question Let's because if I talk of music, then if you look at people, the likes of like Adele and all. That's what I was going to say. Are in the ground. They're oh, very like. like yeah. Taylor Swift. Strike. Did you get him teeth? Not me. Because he's like him. But then if you also look at like behind the music, who's writing that stuff as well. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Adele's like majority, like a lot of writers are girls, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Mm. A lot of writers are most girls. of my girls. But hmm, that's a good question. Can't really I can't really answer. Can't really answer can't, yeah, I don't. It's sticky. Like it's a it's a sticky one because you can say Adele and then you can say Ed Sheeran has great mm. music. Great music. There's Ed Sheeran. Is there's a Michael Jackson. Yeah, there's, it's always Jackson, like Michael Jackson. Beyonce. Jackson, 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 Beyonce. Jackson. Give me. Uh, Beyonce. I don't think it's really a question you can answer because it's like. Mm. Okay, fair you enough. Bring facts on facts on facts to go back and forth. And back and forth. Like, but that's the reason why I bring it up. So I, yeah, yeah. yeah, like personally for me, in my phone, I would have more male artists Same. than women. I feel personally. like it depends on the, in the feeling and the mood and everything as well. Like sometimes mm. if I just want to post off, like sometimes I might want to just listen to Dirk, you know, just listen to Dirk. Or sometimes I might want to listen to someone, a female singer, just, uh, what's her name? Sexy Red? No. <laughs> uh, what's her name? Lauren Hill. You get me? Yeah. Someone like Lauren Hill or compared to... Uh, another what's a male R and B singer that's actually decent? Like, um, Friday. Yeah, I'll give you Friday. Like, do you get me? Yeah. There's a difference. Like, I wouldn't listen to Friday and Lauren Hill the same day. Mm. Really, it's two different feels. Like, fair enough. So, women zero. I mean, women one, men two. No, zero. Because I've only said, oh yeah, you said hygiene. So. <laughs> men one women one this is um zero inconclusive it's a draw yeah inconclusive all right men versus women who's better picking partners men for sure men huh? men why nestle yeah go on <laughs> Gino, you're next why mm-hmm. now like i have too many stories like and i feel like a lot of girls always have the exact same story Damn. and um where am I going? Where am I going? What, what, what was the question again? Sorry. <laughs> that men are better at picking partners. Oh, yeah, men are better at picking. Yeah, yeah, 100%. No, but actually, wait. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah men are. Okay. You didn't say anything, but it's cool. Yeah. You know. <laughs> it's it has to come back. Mm. I think sometimes women like they just run in circles. Mm. Like, how can I explain it? Mm. They just run in circles, like like they go for the exact same people over and over and over and over again. Or maybe they're being tricked. You 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 complain about certain things. Let's say like now, perfect example. Yeah, I have a lot of female friends. Yeah, that mm. would all always have the same. They have a list of a g- ideal guy that they'd want. Yeah, you look at their list and you look at the guy they're talking to, <laughs> and it does not correlate. <laughs> Okay, Nestle, you need to leave. <laughs> That's it. That's I, I, it I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, men. Why? Because I feel like, because it's like it's written like men, the dominant. Yeah, we're all dominant. So it's like we know what we want already. Mm. So I feel like it's a thing where, obviously, I'm just not saying every man because not every man has their brain straight. But for a guy who has their shit going, and if he's ready to pick his girl, he's gonna pick the girl that he wants in a way, and he's gonna choose the girl. Mm. I'm sorry, when I was speaking, you were laughing. I'm, I'm, I'm right, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I told you to leave. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 right. okay, so that, does that mean you're one of those, those as well? Like, no, like, I just for the girls that are listening. <sighs> sorry, yeah, girls. I saw, something <laughs> on, I saw something on TikTok today, and it was basically just this guy that he was talking about how men basically destroyed his friends' lives. There was two of them. So there's one woman, she got into like full ride scholarship to go play professional basketball, and she was driving to McDonald's one day, and the guy that she was with, got out of McDonald's to go pee in the parking lot. The police obviously saw him because you're in public and they had weed on them. So she lost her whole scholarship, completely ruined her life. She ended up falling down the lane of like getting depressed, getting into drugs and she ended up dying all because it all tumbled from that one guy. And in the same photo, there was another girl who got killed by her husband. So it's like, it goes back to what you were saying there about like girls will have a certain list of things that we say we want Mm -hmm. and we just drop all of those standards because of God knows. You come and say, oh, I was blindly in love. Can you get her out of here, man? Yeah. yeah. Get the like ginger it's, it's you, sometimes man. sad. Sometimes. But I know what you're going to say. <laughs> say it loud in that mic, baby girl. I think I'm ready. Men are, men are so good at tricking people. Louder. So, like, oh, well, I look, women can take accountability. You know? No, no, okay, you sit down. There you go. No, I'm getting comfortable because okay, I, I like this, okay, let me I like land, this segment. Can I tell you something, right? Cool. Okay, cool. We'll take accountability. There's been times where, like, I've obviously picked someone or someone has picked me and I just was blindly, like... However, if you take that time to grow and know yourself and understand what you want, you won't make those decisions, mm. right? However, would I be in those kind of situations if they didn't paint a character at the start? Shout you know a little saying? bit obviously, louder. Like, and yeah. obviously, it goes back to that conversation we were having where, like, if you have to paint yourself as someone that you're not to get something from me... Mm-hmm. I don't want to say the word, but you're a bad guy. Very, very bad. Yeah. So I feel like... It's very predator vibes. Yeah, predator vibes. Yeah, 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 like, go on, babe. I think, right, you said at the start of this pod, like, after God, fear women. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So, like, I know men think that they're, like, going to pick, like, the right girl and whatever, but, like, with your guy friends, they're always down bad with a girl. Do you Mm -hmm. get me? Mm -hmm. Like, worse than girls are. Like, because I think, like, girls, we sort of take the heat or whatever. But when you're, when a guy's in love, and like his girl's doing madness, he takes it. No, I see. See, okay, I I wouldn't say takes it. It's it's called compromise. You know, compromise. yeah, because oh, compromise it, men do it. <laughs> no, no, I feel like no, it should be compromised for both parties, isn't it? But it's, it's it falls down again. Like if if a guy is playing, like is playing a role just to get what he wants. I'm not gonna say it's your fault if you, it's you guys' fault for not seeing it because he could be a great actor. You know, he could be a really good actor, but it's like, I don't lie. Find Christ. Pray to God. God will give you some but rights. You're, I, like, I like I what you said there, but it, I, can't argue well, with I wouldn't point. even oh. back off rehair where you basically say after God, fair, fair women. Mm-hmm. Should women not be fairy men? Because why are you pretending? Like, yeah. you know, you have no intention. Listen, we're only pretending They're because good. you got scared us already before. What about for a that is crazy. <laughs> Why I, I was, I was just pretending not to be the true bozo you are. Yeah, girl, mm. say louder. But not every bozo, like, okay. See, not you're not every bozo. No, you're just saying every, every man, every man's a bozo. No, no we're like, not saying every man is a bozo. Yeah, no, there's selective. There's some good, there's some really good men there. The bozos are the bozos, you know, you can see the bozos. Yeah, but you know what, okay. There's bozos There's bozos, there's bozos of every gender. That's what I'm saying. The girls that are bozos, they have, like, men whipped. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and then the Whereas, nice Christian girls are the ones who are crying. Mm. Yeah, because it's, you know, it's yin and yang. Do you not know, see it? Yin and yang. <laughs> Do you not know, see so, because the bozo girls have the innocent boys. 
But the bozo boys have the instant girls. Like that's what it's I said. Crazy, Tina Find Nine. God. God will give you a nice. Amen. Kind of girl. When you said the Christian girls are the ones, I said I felt that. <laughs> sis, Damn. sis, we know oh. our history, bro. Yes. Anyways, let's, light it up. let's lighten it up, please. Um, <laughs> <laughs> men versus women. Who's better? Being spontaneous. Men. Women. Hey, girls. Wait, men. And when I say women, uh, yeah, because women don't expect anything from men. Mm. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. No, no, me. no. What? No, what? no, 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 no. You need to hear what I'm hear. saying. Like, <laughs> like, you need to hear what I'm saying. Obviously, they like. Obviously, they want this. They want that. But if your guy was to just randomly on a random day just take you somewhere, you're gonna be like, oh shit. You get me. Whereas like, you, you can't. It's only expected with women. Women always do spontaneous things, anyways. You get me? No. Mm. I would say women are more planned. I think we plan mm -hmm, things. Definitely. Like, yeah. even subconsciously, you might think it's spontaneous, but you've really sat there and thought of it from ages ago, and you're just finally doing it. I think men are more spontaneous. And maybe I'll piggyback a little bit off that, because niggas ain't doing shit anyways. Niggas, it is a niggas, shock when they do yeah. it. Niggas, niggas, niggas you go for, man. Nah, that's a fire. It's so fire. It's so fire. Nah, I'll ask you, boy. It's so fire. Niggas, they ain't doing shit. Let's not lie. It's your babes that tend to always plan the activities. Every now Who's and then. Who's paying? Who's paying? I'm like, yeah, just see from here. Yeah, I'm indecisive, so like, paying, I'm going to just say, like, but it was still planned. I'm going to do what? I'm going to be happy on what you pick. So if I say to someone, like, that's the thing. Like, That's people think thing. when I say, oh, you pick, it's like, oh, he's being lazy. He's no, I'm very indecisive. So, if you want to do some, I'll be happy to do it because I'm doing it with you. It's not about Aww. what we're actually doing. So cute. Yeah. Ah, You're actually so cute. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think women are very much, like, they're so much more spontaneous. However, I think men are just, like, down for whatever. Yeah. But women are spontaneous. I think men are more spontaneous because they're on plant. That's yeah, and that's not being spontaneous. That's just <laughs> no, I'm not spontaneous by accident. Yeah. They're not doing anything, <laughs> so when they do it, woo! Yeah, we thank God. Mm -hmm. But I think it's easier for a girl because, like, think about it. Like, girls can just like leave the house, but men, they can't leave the house. Like, if they're looking some type of way, if they're looking, like, really? I go in it with no makeup Have and a phone. Have you seen some of the people on the streets? I'm like, I'm. Um, you see me? I'm a. What's the what's the word? Ad advocate, advocate. Mm -hmm. My look is boomy. I love the boomy look. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I love it. I am, for, I am for, like I turn my fashion into the boomy look. Not mm. saying like I bleed and walk around with socks. No, no, no. Like I make that fashion like into that fashion. Like so, he's going to wear a tracksuit, but be Cortez. Yeah. No. Real. Like, it'll be pennies. But you see, it's cuffed. But I open the cuff because I don't like cuff stuff. So I open and make it straight. I like to be free. So, like, you know, pennies are straight. straight like, is it? Like, yeah, they do. But like, it's not. It's not given. <laughs> do you get me? It's not, <laughs> it has to be specific, and I get God, extra. So I get like extra, extra large as well in it. <laughs> so then, like it's baggy. Like, do you get me? But yeah, I'm, no, yeah. yeah, it's not. It's not about fashion, fashion. Do you get me? What really? are you wearing head to toe? Right now. Yeah. What's that? Is this? This is Asics. Fam. This is Bape. This is a champion's top. This is um Cortez, Cortez and this is Belanguaga, and uh, Asics socks as well. <laughs> Even the Asics socks. Just because yeah. of you, JJ. Last segment, because I wasn't going to do it. I was going to skip it. Mm -hmm. Men versus women, who's better fashion? Ha! Listen, I'm going to give it to... Ooh! Fashion. Ooh! What are you thinking? Ooh! I, I want to say... Ooh, that's a tough one. I want to say... I want to say girls. And let me say why. Because you girls can wear your clothes and wear men's clothes as well. So mm. you just have more... Right. Yeah, me, yeah. The men are wearing the women's clothes now. Yeah, what about no, the skirts chill. over the jeans? Have you not seen the skirts? No, not chill. Some, some, I would like sometimes. Some guys are wearing crop tops. I was actually. Yeah. <laughs> 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 men are wearing. There's one guy. The ones with the six top. packs are wearing crop tops now. So this one time, this guy wore a crop top, and me and my girl were laughing, but I thought he ate a little bit. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. You know, your girl's like, hey, look at this guy. Look at this guy in the crop top. You're like, hey, no, shit, don't no, wait. Okay, no, would you move no, to a guy wearing a crop top? No. We don't need to make it. However, I can respect art. I can respect passion. I can respect, you know. Yeah. Out, outside outdoor fashion, I can respect because you love it. I love it. Mm. However, like that's not that's not gonna. I just don't love it for me. With the love of your life. Mm. The love of my life cannot wear a crop top. Thank you, Ross. No, me. My love of life is not gonna wear a crop top. But he's the love of your life. The love of my life is an IT. He's an IT, and he's in the corner. Watch this. Mine is business. Your babe, you ever share a crop top? What do you say? Yo, yo, babe, you want to share this crop top? Where are you going into Zara? Are you buying it for you? Are you buying it for him? To be honest, like even if the love of my life wants to start wearing a crop top, like as long as he eats, like he eats, that's mad. Like, no, no. no. Eats, sure, eats. Sure, sure. the love of my life will never wear a crop top. If he eats, he eats. If he's if he's a true man of God, what about if he's wearing he's, it better than you? That's calm. That pissed me off. Uh -huh. That's calm. If he's a true man of God, finish, please. If he's a true man of God, he has a genuine heart. <laughs> and he wears a crop top. Um, 
but there's a like a wide range of crop tops. Yeah, but like I don't consider a crop top like you see the jumpers or like you see with the long t-shirt and then like the, the jumpers ending here. Like a lot of people call that crop. It's not crop. That's okay, just that's a short, the kind of crop top. That's it's a short jumper. Shorty. But crop, you know I mean? but to be honest with you, like let's be dead ass real. You can the see the only belly type button. Of, yeah, the only yeah, type of man. Belly, no, 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 no. The, yeah, chill. the only type of man <laughs> wearing a crop top like that is gay. Mm-hmm. 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 Baby, I'll show you after the pod. Really some, straight. Some because I was thinking, I was thinking about the crop tops like that, just like here. It is a very yeah, feminine. Like kind of, like like sometimes it's cold, sometimes it goes crazy, but yeah. he's not wearing that every single day. Mm. Do you get me? It's but these feminine kind of, fashion, yeah. Yeah, these kind of scenarios are crazy. Really yeah, the fashion has actually been going on in the world right now has me come flustered. Because yeah. it's, it's a trend. One person does it, and then everyone hops on it, and then they yeah, realize, wait, like this the is a bit weird. Sti- then. Style mm. is coming out like Avril Lavigne scale but boys back. But when did it coming in? That's the question. Like last year, it started creeping in last year. What a style! Like yeah, that style with the whole skirt over the like jeans. The emo style. That's crazy. The emo style. The big boots. Yeah. To be honest, like don't hate me, but sometimes that style goes crazy. But like no, you only wear, goes, it gives yeah, like, like but you only wear it to specific places. Yeah. Like it's not your everyday look. You and there's me? only certain people that can actually exactly. rock it. Mm-hmm. There was, I was know? actually at Fortunes. I was just about to say Fortunes one. He wore it right. He wore like the Tims. Oh, don't even get something with the Tims. Shout out to the niggas with Tims. And then he wore the baggy trousers, then the skirt, then a leather jacket, then his cornrows with the beads. Yeah, Fortune and kills like, the look. He like there was just something so fly about that. You know what I mean? See, I can get it with Fortune because it's also his brand from his music all the way down to the way he dresses. Mm-hmm. It's when I'm seeing the same guys who are wearing snapbacks one day wearing skirts the next day to the so crop wait, tops the day a, after. A guy you wearing, where are you seeing a guy wearing skirts? <laughs> <laughs> the skirt, like it's like the skirt, thing, over, the like skirt over the jeans. The kilt. Have, have you seen that fashion? The only yeah. listen. The only person I can allow to ever do that is Young Tog. Only person. Other than that, nobody should Why be doing it because young, young, young Tog is Young, young Tog. Young Tog is not living here anyways. <laughs> exactly. That, that man is Young Tog is going to be locked up for yeah, life. He like, won't have another he's, chance. He's the only one who should like like be doing all that. Everyone else should leave that guy. Also, it depends on your build. Yeah, it depends on your build. Some people don't I think it's kind of like the crop top thing is kind of like going back to I think is it the 60s where that 60s, 70s, 60s around yeah. the 60s where, 70s where, where they were doing that, the disco era yeah. sort of yeah, stuff yeah, that's yeah, where yeah, the, yeah, the crop yeah. tops everything vintage is just starting to come back yeah mm-hmm. I, I think said people it. are running out of new ideas mm-hmm. so they're mixing up old with recent Definitely. well I want like they've been doing that though because even if you think with the shoes the 95s yeah. they yeah. like yeah. Yeah. Do you get me? they've been doing that but why was when we were growing up we had like the American flag Jember, those leggings. Oh my God, yes. Or the yeah, big belts. Disco pants. The colorful <laughs> pants. Thank God that's oh, the gone. Oh, the pants. Love that. <laughs> oh my um, God, that was crazy. Was, and uh, okay. rainbow. It was like the, the no multicolored like, leggings. Yeah, tie-dye. I'd say men are good at fashion because they have limited amount of options and they make it work. Whereas women have a lot of options. So when it comes mm. to like that kind of but fashion. But do you not think that sometimes makes it harder to put an outfit together because you have so many options? It needs the bang. No, because you, you can have get too away many with, choices. Girls can to get away off. with Ross Clark. Like they yeah, can you get can get away with Just see your, leggings, your boots. Right yeah. I promise you, yeah, if you wanted to put fur on them, it would slap. I can't wear mm. boots and put fur. <laughs> Show some fur on some Nah, don't disrespect Tim's. I wear Tim's. Even the outfit right now, the boots are half of it. Done. Like, like, so your boots are basically like half the trousers. outfit. Do you know what I'm saying? So you ready? You <laughs> ready? <laughs> these guys, it was day one of wearing them. Thanks. Oh, Thanks for noticing. Yeah, I've Do never you know worn them before. They're Do gonna you get their equipment. Okay. We can go very office. Don't go clubbing with them. I don't go clubbing. Mm. Like we can go from very <laughs> office <laughs> mom. Whereas guys, like you can wear shirt jeans, you're cool. Whereas you can go looking like a pure ma, like very easily. I don't understand what you're saying. I think she's saying it's easier for girls to kind of like fall back into the comfier look than guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like our comfier look is a lot more comfy, but guys, it's jeans. Like, mm-hmm. what else have they got? But yeah. even to find the <laughs> <tentacle>. <laughs> Wait, hold on. But what? you do. Like when it comes to like us, like we have the option of leggings, you have the options of skirts, you have the options of cardigan pants, there's so many things. So when we dress comfy, it looks more bummier than when like you guys, like you wear jeans, you can wear jeans to the club, you're going to wear jeans at home. That's your only options. Like, do you get me? Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. but yeah, yeah. Okay. So first, it's easier first. for you guys to look put together. Yeah. Than okay. us. Yeah. Mm. Anyways, fair. yeah. Thank you guys for that segment. It was amazing. I loved it. <laughs> Tweet of the week. <clears throat> Someone said you can work a normal nine to five and have the sexiest baby now. You lot need to live in the real world more. LOL. Then someone quoted it. If you wait in Dior, I don't. What's C slash E? C slash E. Oh, sorry. E class Benz. Sorry. 
E class bends. I start watch. Then babes ain't looking at you twice. Harsh reality. What do you guys think? What? Right. Nah. So, um, what was the first one? Can you read so the, the first, first one again? Tweet is about like you can have a you can have a nine to you can have a normal nine to five and yeah. bag a sexy babe. We, we, we had this conversation. Listen, I want like low key. Yeah, it's about you can have you can have a nine to five and have a babe. Yeah, it's the just about babe. yeah yeah the sexiest babe. Look, for me, I feel like it's your riz mm -hmm. and how confident you are with yourself. Because mm. there's no point if you're putting a portraying. Oh, you do nine to five, but you're doing like you, you run a business. Mm. You're buying. Uh, she's that's what she's expecting. Mm. But if you come as how you are, she likes you for how you are. Mm. You can get anyone, even Beyonce, if you like. I agree. But the other one, what did you say about? I think it just depends. The on quote the girl. was just like he. Would, sorry. Yeah. You understand the quote, right? Yeah. Do you remember the quote? No, no. <laughs> the quote was basically this guy said, You can't, if you're not in Dior or you don't have a Benz or you're not iced out, then the bitches ain't looking at you twice. Well, it's probably because he said the bitches ain't looking at you. So it's one problem. Yeah, but the, that's what Sorry. I'm saying. <laughs> not bitches, babes. I feel like it just depends on the girl you're trying to get. You get me? Because mm. more time, like, like I don't know. It just depends on the girl you're trying to get. Mm. I think Literally. Yeah. everyone has standards, isn't it? Like, yeah, I know. think the number one mistake men like that salty person said because to me that his quote tweet was given. He doesn't afford it, and it seemed very angry. Mm. But yeah. he's very triggered. But the problem with guys like that is they tend to not date in their tax bracket. Mm. Oh, mm. say it again. <laughs> that's, that's, well, that's, they don't that's date in their it. tax yeah. bracket. Mm -hmm. You will see one fine babe who's dripping from head to toe in designer and decide, let me go bankrupt. <laughs> trying to chase that babe. Oh, true. When there's a babe who's happy enough with Zara, oh, who would and, talk and she's probably even nicer than that Way girl. Nicer. Yeah. <laughs> Way nicer. Way yeah. nicer. Can I tell you something? Even just a double... Um, piggyback on that from a girl's perspective dating men right I like the 9 to 5 men right not like not in a diminishing way or whatever because sometimes mm -hmm. the guys in the EXE class I start watch what else did you say Dior are rubbish mm -hmm. they have bad character mm -hmm. and they, they haven't worked on their character they haven't worked on themselves most of them are not Christians mm -hmm. they're probably doing something mad on the side whereas a 9 to 5 man like that's a suit like a, a trustable state steady hustle do you get me and they're more so like you know Nice guys, nicer guys. Mm. When it comes to dating, like look, look at guys once they have money. Mm -hmm. Exhibit A: David O and all his concubines. <laughs> concubines like you guys have you seen the David O drama that happened this week? No. So I live under a rock. Mm. Yeah. So basically, some babe. It wasn't even her who posted the photo. So it was basically like she took the photo and dropped it into her group chat. One of the babes in the group chat leaked the photo, but it was basically she was standing in front of him oh, and yeah, he had his actually. arm wrapped around her. And like when it obviously came out, people are like, David O has been married. Mm. Like, why is there a photo coming out now of him with another babe? And the girl straight away came out and was like, that's broski, but I didn't know he was married. Mm. But people are saying like, David O is so rich that he has absolutely everything in this world. Can I just say one thing? Yeah, just to piggyback, bleh, piggyback off you. Money's power. Yeah. If you have money, what? what? And that's the problem that I think a lot of girls don't always tend to see. Like when you're seeing the guy with the E class and all of that stuff. <laughs> just know he may have five kids in it. Like he may have a wife and five on kids. Finance. Wait, just to, just pause. <laughs> if you have an E class, a uh, Dior, and you uh, you could be a good man. Yeah, yeah, of course. If you work for it, like, we're not, we're not, we're not saying that you're not a good man. You know what I'm saying? But we're oh, just yeah. saying. Sometimes this the AIB place. banker. That's the librarian. Mm. That's the doctor. Don't, don't go kill yourself for, for fashion or to impress anybody. Do you, innit? Someone will mm -hmm. like you for you. Mm -hmm. Someone mm -hmm. will definitely like you for you, to be honest. Mm -hmm. okay. Statement of the week. Are you guys ready? Yeah. This one's quite long. Read. Do you want to read it? Okay. Thanks. Oh, let's go. Women are enable, enablers of cheating and infidelity. If all women, if all the women, uh, ugh, I'm <laughs> dyslexic, guys. If all the women decide to stick to their partners and those single remain single the men will not see who to cheat with but we know that it's not possible because one I don't know that word okay so these are names Ninkechi wants the latest iPhone and a trip to the all these yeah sorry about that I forgot about that name in there does that make sense <laughs> No, no, okay. no. no. Yeah. I love the way you broke four sentences and conjoined one. Women are enablers of cheating and infidelity. If all the women decide to stick to their partners and those single remain single, the men will not see who to cheat with. But we know that it's not possible because one in Ketchy wants the latest iPhone and trip to the Maldives. Yeah. I still don't get it. 
Facts. So he's what the statement is basically saying that like women enable cheating because if all of us stayed single and like the single babes weren't condoning dating the cheating guys because a lot of girls do know that guys cheat. Oh, and they still, they don't give a dust. The world would be better. So, yeah. But so she's basically staying in the statement that because like an inca she wants like an iPhone or a trip to the Maldives, she's willing to date someone that she mm. knows is cheating mm. on another babe. Oh, okay. Did I get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think um I don't know, like let's all take accountability. The men are still cheating. Yeah. You get me. But there's uh, double the sorry babe, there's double the population. Like double men in the world than women. No, double women than mm-hmm. men. Mm-hmm. So, so it's only battle. yeah. I don't know, man. That's not me. I'm not out here I don't women. condone cheating anyways, like I won't lie, like Of course you don't, babe. It's just one of them ones, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just life, like, <laughs> just... <laughs> I'm <laughs> you! <laughs> you are so funny! I don't condone it, like, you know what I mean? For me, it's like, we'll be in a relationship, you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. everyone for ourselves, like, everyone everyone is going to... Um, mm-hmm. Go on, babe, Lance. Everyone's going to... Um, there's a word I'm looking for. Everyone's going to... Do what they want to do, like... In, yeah, but I was trying to say more smarter than that. It's okay. Yeah, everyone's going to do what, yeah. They're going to do what they want to do at the end of the day. Can't control no one, innit? Mm. Right, let's get to know you guys a little bit. Hmm. Do you know you first? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Yes. Do you know management? Back, like, what I do? Yeah. Can, we know your, can we know your name, since it's not Gino? My name's Gino Management. <laughs> um, I'm an entrepreneur, that's what mm. I'd say. So mm-hmm. I do events, um, artist management as well. Mm. And that's pretty much me. You don't yeah. sound like you like your job. Like, <laughs> you don't sound like you're very excited. Please. Remove your hand from me. Come I'm on. An event promoter. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Artist manager. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, man, just do my thing. I'm a young entrepreneur. Okay. So, skr, skr, how did uh, you get into it? Yeah. So basically, I started off with cello. And uh, just from there, literally, just kept on doing music. Obviously, met JJ as well and Nesto. Got into music, just got into the studio. Mm-hmm. Started making connections, networking. Um, then lately after that, I got into events. Mm-hmm. Um, so what what events have you like done recently? So I did. Um, I started my events last year. Yeah. So mm. from New Year's. Nah, nah, you just started last nah, year. Nah, you're capping, bro. <laughs> last year. Listen, now listen, you're <laughs> chatting shit. This guy used to. I love that your boys are here to hold you accountable. Bro, from here, are you forgetting from here? Are you forgetting? Hold on, hold on, hold on. God will bless you, people. Okay, can I say something? Because you were like, let me. I need to come with the pod. I want to say some shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I started, yeah. I started when I was like 15, 16. Wow. I started, I was doing barbecues in my back garden. Used to fill it up. Yo, like craziest barbecues. Crazy. At 15. Crazy. That's mad. Yeah, like you and yeah. your mom lets you. Yeah. Uh, your mom. Uh, Shut up, mom. You were pushing peas, weren't yeah. you? I was trying, I was trying, but like she's she just always like supported it, you know. Aw, yeah. shout out, mom. See? Nice. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, so we're doing barbecues in the summer. And then eventually I said, you know what, let me just bring it to events. So then, after that, where we start? We started at 22s, 22s, 22s with yeah. Frank Jez. So I hit with Frank Jez, I was like, yo, I want to start to, I want to get into events in it. And um, first event, sold out like 400 tickets in like a week. Mm. And then I think from there, I was like, you know what, this is something that I need to get into and mm. keep attacking. Then I done money match in March, obviously, for St. Patrick's Day. Mm-hmm. Then I went on to do BTL, I created a band called BTL. Mm. Doing that trail to some uh, done four events, was it? Four, yeah. yeah. Four events. And then ever since then, I've just been consistent with it. Like, just doing, the, doing events, music as well. So, it's been good. Okay. It's been good, yeah. I like it. That was better. Yeah. Now, Nesto. Yeah. Or JJ. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, Pop. <laughs> um, I'm, uh, I'm a DJ. And um, I've actually been a DJ quite a long time now, you know? Uh, like, I say like six years. Mm-hmm. But, like, it was more self-taught and all that. Doing this and doing that. I do... Like, have my own little podcast. Um, I do as well. I um, play a bit of sport. What's the podcast yeah, called? Literally. Uh, it's called um, JB Hoops. JB Hoops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's me and my friend. Back. No, it's on YouTube. We're not, we're not just there yet. Like, you know, we're, we're getting there. But Shut yeah. Your phone down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's basically me and my friend. Um, he's sports, basketball, I'm music, DJ. Mm-hmm. So it's just two heads together, kind of just. Combined worlds. Yeah, nice. type. Can I curse? Yeah. Because yeah. I have the same type shit, but yeah, type shit. Um, what else do I do? I'm a photographer. I'm a videographer. I'm an ah. editor. Ah. Hype man. Hype, hype man. man. I'm a hype man. Um, yeah. Dancer. No. 
<laughs> That's the one thing I can't claim that. You don't I am. have Congolese hips. No, I do. Get uh, get me honey and yeah, like you'll see waist. Come out. The waist would do like a. Wow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Got the, oh, yeah. Motion in the ocean. Yeah, Got yeah. It. Um, that's why I did music because I couldn't dance. Oh. My brothers all dance. My brothers waste like water in it. But like mm. me, I said, Stiff. you know what? Yes, I said I want to be involved with them, but when I being involved. Okay. So like, imagine me at a party, I'm DJing and they're mm. dancing. So I'm mm. there. Okay, makes sense. Makes that's sense. That's what I was thinking, but now it's just more like life is lifing. So I'm trying to still figure out life right now. Yeah. Yeah. I hear it. Nesto. Yo, Nesto. Nesto Prod. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, obviously, I'm an audio engineer mm. and a manager as well. Mm. A manager, I'm Celine. Mm-hmm. Um, it's tough. It's tough. Can I say something about Nesto? Can I say something about Nesto? Isn't our theme song? Oh, yeah. Isn't our theme song about Nesto's work? Oh we yeah! Oh yeah! 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 We well, recorded it. I recorded it. Yeah. We, yeah. Uh, uh, see? We, we, we like like we see what? Huh? Uh, but I don't even know. I'm confused, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They put the spot. Like, I'm confused. No, I'm, like, yeah, I'm confused. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, do that. So when, I forget when did about you, myself. When did I start? Yeah. When did you so, start? When did you get into it? I've always played piano. I, I started playing piano when I was like ten years old. For church. Yeah, for church. My mom kind of forced me into that, and then uh, I stopped playing it because it wasn't a cool cool. thing to do back then. Mm. Everybody wanted to play football, basketball, so I stopped that for like eight years, nine years, didn't get back into it until like COVID. I'd say COVID was when I proper got back into it. And then I was just bored during COVID, so I got a laptop, I got music equipment, just started recording music in my house Mm. for myself. And then eventually Gino hit me up and was like, yo, Cello, he's managing Cello, let's record. So we recorded in Gino's kitchen, in the sitting room. We recorded there and then literally from there, it's just been open, it, opened my first studio in 2021. And then, 2021, isn't it? 20, 2021. 20, 2021, yeah. 20, 2022, 20, sorry. 2022. 20, no, 2021. <laughs> it was 2021, no? <laughs> 20, 20, 20, 21, 20 slash 22. 22, 22. Okay, look, yeah, 22. we'll just say, we'll just say 2020. Okay. Yeah, but, <laughs> <laughs> After 2020. <laughs> but yeah, open the first one, then I open another one in 2022, end of 2022. Wow, and then, where did I go after that? I went to another studio and then I went to another studio run by one of my guys, Shao Prezi. Shout out Prezi, man. And then obviously I'm working now and jun- currently working in Jungle Beam Studios. Shout out to Boss Simba. Whoop. Much much respect for him. And um, yeah, that's kind of like me. Just um, my life is all music. Mm. I also sing. I'm gonna sing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make that like very no known because people sing. don't know I you sing. Know you know? Yeah, she actually, actually sings. It's you. Yeah. I have it on my phone. Yeah, yeah. 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 even um, even my track I released in 2022, Noah Hala. People don't actually know that that's actually me singing the song. Oh. Like majority of this that's hook lit. and all that like, yeah it's actually no, me. Hala sounds very familiar to me yeah 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 in school, bringing a speaker, rapping against teachers, blah, blah, wow. blah, like just messing about. And then mm-hmm. obviously after he's telling me that, oh, he's managing cello. I'm like, I oh, swear. And I'm like, yo, bro, I'm lucky at DJ, you know? I was like, swear, <laughs> oh, sh- oh my God, yeah, DJ. Just just everything just put together. And then, yeah. It's meant to be. Yeah. That's literally it. Yeah, you guys should think about having your own podcast, to be honest. Yeah. yeah, you guys are so funny. I think you guys like hilarious. Do you know what it is? We actually said we were going to start a podcast like three years ago. Mm-hmm. It's just, just time, man. It's just you see, yeah, men, like spontaneous time. women, planned. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's your answer. <laughs> but you know what it is? Everybody had their own. Like, I feel like we're also it was kind of like we wanted everybody to build themselves before mm-hmm. we get into anything. So Gino obviously started his management side. JJ's DJ and then I kind of my artist management and whatever so everybody wanted to like kind of like build themselves first and then mm-hmm. whatever ideas we have later on in life we can obviously slap them together. down yeah. Yeah. Them together I feel like when you guys first came out like you guys were like such a you guys seemed like a collective because there was just so many do you get me and I was like whenever like you never knew like obviously it was like for Stella or whatever but like 
you were all doing something. So it just said, look, look like you were so busy. Do you get me? Mm, we were. <laughs> Crazy busy. Stuff, stuff, stuff is his stuff. It wasn't his stuff. It's his stuff. It wasn't his stuff. It's me. It's like everyone was. Yeah, there was always those. Every week we had something to like. Work on. To work mm. on. Literally every single week. But I also feel like that because we had a tape that we were kind of like, okay, yeah, we want to show Ireland that yo we actually have been putting in the work for a long time some days, some days we won't even go home yo. see that studio downstairs what that was home Late for a while. Shifts. that was home I was there with you guys the other day. I don't think I left until like yeah that t- 6 a.m. or so <laughs> yeah. 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 I didn't leave until time it was lit though yeah. Yeah, it was lit. I said hi. I'm back. Yeah, sure. yeah, you did. Yeah, <laughs> I was still driving the car though that night. Gina, you know, I wanted to ask because you do events and stuff. What is your like protocol in case there's fights? Like, I, mean, I don't up. think you've had fights at any nah. other point. Yes, yeah, so, like, I'll how do you up, prevent double that? Double up on security. Double That's up. the only way you can prevent Spend it. The dust. Shout out to them yeah. securities, man. They don't take yeah. shit. Mm. Yeah, you can't. You can't predict the fight. That's one yeah. thing. But you can only be prepared for. It. Mm. That's the main thing. So I will just say, double up on security. That's the only thing. Fair enough. Yeah. And what what advice would you give like people listening to you that want to be like? where you are or like want to start this journey but don't know how to start so obviously producing djing event management do you want to go for that um what advice i'd give to someone um look at them look at them while you're i'd just say you. i'd just say just <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, you know i even forgot those cameras were there <laughs> oh, God. No God. Yeah, I, I know you haven't looked i was <laughs> i was so into the conversation i it's forgot good, those two good, ideas it's real. It's but, okay. um, what advice i give to them is just keep going and just keep working hard stay consistent like no matter how long it takes mm. it will happen one day whether it's 10 years 15 years two days three days it will happen just never give up yeah that's only applicable mm. if you have talent though Shit. just had to add yeah. that um you can find talent you can like you eh? can f- yes you can find talent okay. not necessarily a lot of people have blown up from music and they aren't the most talented people mm. like mm. do you know how many people are actually crazy sick on music and mm. yeah. people wouldn't even look at them twice yeah it's the market but those, but it's the marketing but those sort of people without the talent it's not sustainable that's where one hit wonders and stuff if you can't reproduce yeah. what you're doing w- w- yeah, it's w- not gonna be really sell mm. one hit wonders can also set you up for life though yeah mm. <laughs> um what's that as well uh, uh, Selling so, oh, up, he's lucky. Up lucky Gundam up. Star, that man. Gundam Star, that, that one song, that one song is gonna go for it. Like, he's filling up stadiums to the That's day. Crazy. To this he doesn't day. need to drop another song ever again in his life. He's just performing one song. Gundam Star, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had two songs. He had two songs. Okay, Ron. Oh, like that song was going crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I don't know. He had another one. Had something to do with time or something like that. I also feel like because of where he's from, there's a lot of people there that can actually. He's from South Korea. South Korea alone. Yeah, but yeah, they're yeah, he's from worldwide. Yeah, what true. What are you going to say about that now? Like, he's yeah. worldwide. No, like, this is crazy. a suggestion. This is a suggestion. <laughs> this is a suggestion. But, like, I think every time I've seen you guys do any sort of events, like, it's just on point. Do you get me? Like, everywhere, need, everyone needs to be where they're at. Do you get me? Mm. Because I don't know if you're ever behind the scenes, like, at any shows or whatever, like, it can be a bit of chaos. Oh, but uh, a bit. <laughs> a I'm bit. being nice. I'm being people, nice. I'm people being nice. don't know what goes on behind the scenes. See, when you come to shows, you think, oh my God, that's great. Back they were, we're punching each Yo. other like, ah, ripping each other. Yeah, like, sure. ah, like, oh, yeah, so true. since we're talking about shows, can <laughs> I talk about the elephant in the room of the show recently? So, <laughs> the <what? laughs> Uncle Shali Poppy Shelly came Poppy. to Ireland. Yeah. How can okay? Can you explain to us what actually happened? Because everything has to just be, been like be, rumors. To be honest, like for me, it was very kind of clear of what happened. Like we were prepared. My team was prepared. We promoted the event, everything went well, and he just didn't show up. Like, so but, but, but with, that, with that being said, I'm not going to put blame on him. I'm not going to put blame on the promoters. I'm simply just going to say that the first one, he didn't show up. The second one he came. You know, that's the main thing. Mad late. Nigerian time. He's in Nigeria. He was, he, he was in like Ireland the day before as Let well. me know if we can beat this out, right? Good. But I, I went there yeah. and I, didn't, I just walked in. There's no one at the door. But mind you, people were there. I got there at like 11. People were there at 8. <gasps> he didn't come out until like 12. This guy Because what I was actually going to ask was like the first one where he didn't show. How did it happen that he had two concerts on the same day? For me, there's, 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 there's a lot of like behind the scenes things that obviously happened. Yeah, this is why I was I asking But obviously on my behalf, on my team's behalf, like, I can't really speak on that. The promoter themselves, whoever was involved, knows exactly what happened. At the end of the day, there was a contract that was signed that was agreed that Charlie Poppy would perform in Dublin in an earlier time and before we left that at a later time. There was things put into place that it would ensure that he would have made 
both shows. So there was 100%. a private jet. There was really a private jet. It was real. Yeah. The private jet was booked. Did you not see it? His DJ made it back. From Belfast. His DJ made it back. They made it back in time. So it was a whole, it was a whole like, basically his management team, let's say, didn't feel like he would have made both shows. Fair though. Last kind of second. Last second. So like, yeah. people okay. keep saying like, oh, why do we not warn people? We found out. I found out, I, basically I found out at 6.55 PM. He would have only given 50% to both shows, to be honest. Like he wouldn't have been able to give 100% in four hours. No, because I only assigned to perform for one hour. Mm. Okay, that's like, another thing I want to clear up for gonna, people. Yeah. Yeah. For like three you hours what you were saying, Kumi, you can't people, be right before, before, before you, before you cleared up, come. did you pay for the private jet? Like, what's it paid for? Of course. Yeah. His DJ got so, onto it. So, did you get the money back? No. No, no. his DJ still got onto it. There's a lot of money that was invested in this. How much was the private jet? Like, was it, we talking tens, thousands? Like, give a rounded finger. Yeah, give a rounded. Are we going to say it's a five or 15? 15. 15. But, um... So it's not there was a lot of money that was invested, a lot of money that was lost. There's a lot of things that was learned as well, a lot of lessons. But as I can say, on our behalf, on my team, we have junior management team. We done everything in our power to make sure that this yeah. happened. That day was like, long. You know, like it was so long, like even getting the venues, getting these type of events, even getting into Red Cat. No one's Yo. even deep in the fact that, look, since 2020, no one has even been into Red Cat. So, sure. so no one even looks at these little things like, oh, how do we get this venue? Or how do we get that? It's all just a negative that people How did you get the venue? Not, not true, 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 this relationship and talking to somebody. I was talking to the guy since like six months. Uh, his name is Paul. And obviously I was just showing him my events and obviously he was seeing all this solar events and how our events actually run smoothly. Mm -hmm. So he's like, you know what? Problems, yeah. Let me give you a shot. Because the last time I heard of an event, a red cow, I heard there was a helicopter. Yeah, helicopter. Yep. helicopter. GTA. Yep. GTA. <laughs> that was GTA. It was, it was like. See, I lived in Carlo, like, so I was safe. Uh, yeah. so I didn't, Just for I, that I didn't go to the event, right? I was at Red Cow, though. And obviously, I was at the hotel, sixth floor, watching down. And I just seen. What were you doing in a hotel, but you went at the event? I was brave, though. To get a helicopter. What was I doing at the hotel? I wasn't at the event. I didn't want to go to the event because the event. So, why'd you get the hotel? Because that's where Inside all my boys event. were. That's where all my boys were. And it was the first, I'm going to celebrate with my people's life. After I celebrate with my family and God, I'm going to go out, step out with my boys, innit? Look, mm. you are trying to catch me out with that question. He's calling, right? he's calling first, cap. No? Yo, let's be, let's be, let's be, let's be, let's be, let's be so real. We are in the hotel, you're mm -hmm. going to mess. Yeah, you hear me? You're young as well. You're young. You're young. You want to mess. That's what we call it here. Is it research? Nothing, yeah. Yeah, research. That's what we call it here. Nah, we mess. We don't, we don't do research. We mess. They're not, they're not learning anything from the situation. They're creating problems. I tried. <laughs> so yeah, but like past, the first past. Past. yeah, that was past. That was like that was back in like twenty nineteen or so. Yeah, twenty twenty. So you're changed man. Yeah, 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 for sure. So why do you think like there's such a bad stigma on events in Ireland? You know, I don't even think I it's think a bad I, stigma. I, 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 think, I think. Can I just yeah, say something I real quick? I think right people because I have a lot of friends that do events. I think people take advantage of the fact that you can do these things and they don't really understand what really goes on behind it. Because mm. of what happened with Gino now and this whole Gino management, sorry, the Gino management and this thing, they're now gonna bind him together with the promoters and the event planners that don't take care of their customers, mm. where these times that wasn't Gino Management's um, aim. For example, there's event people out there that just here for the money. So they're, they're going to make these crazy risks. They're going to do stuff like mm. um, that's not going to have the customers' minds and they're just going to up the price of tickets and not give a so f can about I, can I touch point on that? So oh. even the whole thing about the pricing of tickets, I feel like people don't see what goes into cost. Mm -hmm. Like mm. to get that red cow and... This is, for example, as well, like people that have obviously messed up venues like previous and mm -hmm. all that type of stuff. We're paying for their sins. Mm -hmm. All them, all, all, all the all people that, that were fighting Crystal, Crystal mm -hmm. they don't trust black people with venues. Yeah. They yeah. No so more. So you get me? So we're, we're, yeah. we're paying double the price mm -hmm. just to get one venue. Yeah. And, and no one's seen that. See the thing you know? with tickets, yeah. Mm -hmm. I always say it like, people need to stop complaining about the price of tickets. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to go out, don't go out. Mm -hmm. Simple. And when the tickets were there for 15 euro, you didn't want to buy it. Mm -hmm. They were there for 20 euro, you didn't want to buy it. Mm -hmm. 25, I, I, you didn't want to buy it. Let me just give it as well. Listen, yeah. yeah. Let me, let me give it as well, yeah. Just because just he's going tickets, yeah. Mm. Just because he's going off tickets, yeah. I'm going to talk about, like, you see with the, how you said with the whole, there's a stigma around in mm. Ireland. It's like, we are trying to fix that. Mm. But there's so much we can do. Mm. One thing I was just talking to him about, how can we stop black people doing black timing? <sighs> We say free shots. People are still pulling up at 12 and then they complain they have two hours left. Mm. Can I actually Should I tell you how you stop that? Mm -hmm. You stop letting people in, even if they're yeah. paid for yeah, their like tickets. Like you you actually have, have just, to start yeah. applying. So yeah, yeah. Actually start applying it and I'm UK, telling you, UK, they will show up. People are 
Yeah, yeah the security yeah, is like, yeah. no, you can't Fomo's come in. the best thing ever. Yeah. R&B slow jams do that. Mm-hmm. They're, like, they're not obviously going to ex- extend the, the capacity because you missed out on one. No, you come to the next one. Next yeah. time, don't lack. Do you yeah. get me? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Or you can put like a time frame on the tickets. Like, 100%. Yeah. Half yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, close. some people do the time frame, but it's because you're not actually applying it. Yeah. Yeah. When they show up to that door and you're saying, you are not coming they're in. Not coming in. Mm-hmm. They're going to show up the next time. But you know what it is though? Like, Let's say like you do that and... Your venue is empty and people just decide. No, but your venue, your venue won't you build, also yeah. be empty because certain people do show up on time. No, it's, but like this we've, the last we've had, we just did, even, yeah, I even for New Year's, even for New Year's, yeah, like when we when we had New Year's, the owner was even like, "Yo, where's where's, where's everybody? Where's everyone? Like, where's everybody?" But I think it's because just, you're not putting the time thing on it. Because I've been to, I don't really go out too tough, but I've been to the UK events that have been held here, like DLT brunch and all of that. Mm. And because they're English companies and they're saying be in by this time or else you're not let in. Place, the place was jam packed, mm-hmm. jam packed. Even me, I was there like three, mm-hmm. four hours so before that time. If, if you want things to change, you have to actually put up these boundaries. Yeah. So you need to. Yeah, yeah, but see, yeah. the thing and is, if your venue is also empty, you're not losing out because the tickets have been paid for. Course, if yeah. you yes. like, show up. If you That's like, different. don't show up. You're That's not different. getting in. Okay, then, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. obviously, like, I feel like I feel sorry for you, event management people, because I know you guys go through like sticks you guys get hell hell you guys get bullied you get you guys go through a lot and these times you don't understand the amount of time practice practice can you imagine planning that goes into these events so you know what yeah everyone take a chill pill Right, relax. Like, we leave these guys alone. Leave bro. us alone. Show There's a lot that happens so the behind the scenes. We're trying to do it for you lot, yeah. but you use that. Don't give us a stick. Like in Ooh. fairness, from an event, like the reason why people do events is because it's good profit. Do you know what nah. I mean? Like let's yes and no, you, but you, I think you, it's you more. Can, you can tell when a promoter's doing it for money yeah. or it's just passion based. Mm. Yeah. I can say for yeah. a fact, you guys did the Charlie Poppy thing for passion because 100%. I think people won't even deep the amount of money you lost from the first one not going on because it's like you didn't show up. You had to book another venue for the second one. Buy yeah. Shelly Poppy because that's its own thing. But like events, like I get like my degrees in event management. Like I love events. Do you know what I mean? But there's also a very like spenny side to it. Like you can make quick money. Do you get me? Mm-hmm. No, of course. So it's yeah, like yeah. you're saying I'm I'm just playing devil's advocate. Do you know what I mean? It's like okay, understandable. Yeah, tickets can get expensive. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And the more you put into it, the more you lose. Do you know what I mean? You're not like gonna be break. You don't want to break even on an event. Do you get mm-hmm. me? But there has to be like a little bit of balance. And I know you said that with like the 15 euro tickets, but yeah, I think what you're saying there, there is passion and people making it for money. But the reason why people don't trust promoters is because there's a lot of people doing it for money. Yeah, and but if we're not, sorry, just let me land. Mm-hmm. If we're not being transparent, do you get me? It's people aren't gonna trust. So the same cycle is gonna continue. Does that make sense? I can say that the same with anything though. Anything you do, like not only event planning, like me DJing, like I can, say I'm only doing DJ for dough because I can mm. charge someone six bills, seven bills and do a shit job. Or I can charge someone 200 and do the best I've ever done. And from there, it's get more people. I feel like it's just, it's just people, man. I won't lie. It's just people yeah. in general. Like it's me, me personally, obviously with my brand, like we've never not had a sold out event like ever. So me even look at, looking at that alone, that just shows, okay, this guy is actually doing something good for people. Mm. But like if you have an event and nobody's coming, they're not coming for a reason. You know mm. Yesterday as well, what we announced, uh, BTL, BTL event. Uh, 8th of June. Sold the event I didn't even get to yeah. the post So it's like people, people are actually coming because they know that, okay, they actually trust in me and they know that it's going? passion based. Are you coming? We didn't know about it. I'm going to be June. on my birthday holiday. Within an hour. 8th of June. I'll be around. Within an hour. 8th of June. Yeah. No, I'm, tra- I'm actually flying out. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. So let me, free. let me see my calendar. Oh, we'll put the link. Free. Of the event to the, in the description box. I saw. Yeah. I actually did see the promo video. Sick. Cool. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, and okay. So even like the prop, the promotion. There's not many promoters that are actually promote like like that. You know. Like even work. that video. Who's gonna get Ovi for a promo video? Exactly. Yeah. 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 And he's he's spending. Yeah. Well, he is spending. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saying. I'm not saying to you. I'm not saying that you guys are doing it for the wrong reasons. But I'm saying I think the bigger issue is that like as Ireland as a whole. There's people, and I, I don't know, like, too tough. There's people that aren't doing it for the right reasons, mm-hmm. and they're marking everybody else. Yeah, it's so that's why it's yeah. about okay. transparency. Okay, so, so if Shali Poppy came the first time, what would have happened? I think, well, it was just like, uh, Ashaka came, like, a few months prior. Like, it was, like, a year ago. Do you get me? He came out for 10 minutes. Do you know what I mean? He still came out. People aren't shouting about it now. Mm. I think it's the fact that everybody paid for their tickets because it's like everything's so expensive, like getting hotels and everything. Mm. So much people lost out. Mm. And it's like, even if he showed up for five minutes, they could have been like, well, at least he was here and I enjoyed my night. But everybody was just so pissed 
that they didn't get anything. Anything, yeah. Do you yeah. get me? Yeah. And obviously, I can't fault them because at the same time, we were more so left in the dark. Yeah. How, well, how, how all the consumer we was. There like, and we just found well, it. I 655 is when I personally I found that and said, okay. People yeah. don't even know that you're no. not the problem. Yeah, no, no. I think it came to that. We're not stupid. I'm not going to I'm not going to send someone to a venue not knowing that the ice isn't coming. That's impossible. Yeah. I think you know? where it is where people I feel like they put blame on you guys is that maybe they feel like contractually maybe there wasn't enough. Like people are always going to elaborate on what mm. they think That's what I'm saying. actually mm. happened. So, but if yeah. an artist doesn't show up, it's clearly not your fault. Like you mm. can't go and carry him by yourself exactly. and because there's been some people there's been some people who have put uh, stuff on someone on the on the poster. That they didn't show up. <laughs> they did show up. But with I this don't understand one, the people that do that. Like, this that, one is fraud. So they oh, tricked you. Yeah, yeah. That, fraud. that one is fraud. But this one was yeah. at least reputable because mm. everyone could even see he yeah, posted yeah. it himself. Well, and I think himself, the, fact the, the, one, mm-hmm. exactly. the fact that you got the second one, exactly. The fact that you got the second one, people, I think they can hold you to your word. And yeah. Like mm. at least he tried. He mm-hmm. he pulled up. Yeah. Like and once again, like his reputation is going to speak for him in the sense he didn't show up for one, and then he showed up late for the next one. People even the, know even with the you. with the Leicester one as well, there was complaints. Yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, I saw that on like Twitter. They like, said he performed yeah. two songs. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want to go back to. This whole thing of I don't understand. What do people think? Do people think someone's going to perform Headline for four hours? No, but you see the thing is, I think the problem is, is that people are going are putting Shally Poppy against like the likes of Burner. If you go to Burner, he's doing a set list for but how long? Isn't, it's going to be more than an hour. I've an been hour to, it's, it's, but, I think well, it depends. Like, it depends, it depends that's a on the artist. But, but I actually said this the last time we spoke about Shally Poppy. I was like, guys, how many songs well, look does look at him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look mm-hmm. at the amount of songs Pornoboy Boy has. Very, very and look small. at Shally Poppy. Exactly. He, only, he only dropped his tape recently. It was 15 But at the end of the day, the ticket, was, the ticket was 20 euro and you didn't no, buy it. No, no, I wasn't going to buy the ticket anyway. But what you have some... saying is 70 euro for one song. Like... No, yeah, but can, can, can I say something? Yeah, do you see, do you see one thing about this whole money thing? Yeah, why was it so pricey? Yeah, because okay, Perfect. people always say, oh, UK was twenty pounds, twenty pounds. You can earn it two different 100%, places. Hundred percent, I agree. With we that. don't have venues here. No venues. There's yeah. no venues. So you, you imagine on five thousand capacity venues. Do the math right now. Do five thousand by, yeah. by twenty pounds. You get me <laughs> crazy. <laughs> but like, we don't have them. Like, we only have capacity of one case. Yeah. How are you meant to even make even break even? Mm-hmm. At, at that alone, yeah, you get me. So that's the tickets artists, are going to be. First of all, the good. artists are charging mad money now, mm. so crazy money. So it's like it's they're giving those venues that only have five hundred. Especially when they're popping like, at the time. You get me. So it's like crazy you can't really money. blame. Like I hear, obviously the seventy quid. Like I hear as well, but it's like the money that's invested, no one sees that for enjoyment. Yeah, yeah, but oh. that's the that's the that's just being an event manager, no? Like because yeah, nobody's ever gonna see it. It's like I don't know. Like I don't really watch football like that, but yeah. there's probably a lot that goes on in the background that mm-hmm. nobody else sees. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody just screams at the goals. Screams at the goals. So yeah. it's just like you can't yeah. like it's it is it is it's it's bittersweet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I think what you guys are doing because I'm sorry if I went in on you for that. You are doing well, like you are being trans- as transparent as you can be. Maybe a bit more transparency in the future. But you came up here and you talked about it. What other promoters did that? Do you get me? So word, yeah, word, your word. Well, yeah, let's hop into the stories because we actually <laughs> don't have that much time left. Perfect. Okay, so I've got two stories for you. So I'm just jumping before I, before I used to give options, but I feel like we've covered the topics today. So I'm just dive straight in. The title of this is called "My Ex Husband Passed Away and I'm to Inherit Everything Instead of His Girlfriend." Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Read it again. My ex-husband passed away, and yeah. I'm to inherit everything instead of his current girlfriend. Can I be a weirdo? Can I just ask one question before? Yeah. She's the ex-wife. Does she still have the name? I don't know. No, no, they're divorced, so they're probably yeah. She probably doesn't have the name. Hmm. Okay. I feel terrible, and I don't know if I'm entitled to his money. My ex-husband came to me one day and told me that he was leaving me. This was about eight years ago, and I was four months pregnant with our first child. I can't describe the hurt and the confusion I was feeling. I thought we were soulmates and we were married for 10 years. I didn't see it coming at all. I tried to reason with him. He moved out within a week. A week later, his lawyer sent me a letter to move from the apartment. I found out a couple of weeks later that he had met someone and that's why he was divorcing me and buying me out of the apartment. He never spoke to me until I had a late miscarriage two months Mm -hmm. later. He tried to reach out a few times, but I never answered him. Then I met my current husband. He stopped trying to contact me because now I'm happily married with two children. About six months ago, I heard he was terminally ill. I felt sad for him, of course, but I refused to go and see him as it was his last wish. What do you say to someone who hurt you that bad after all these years? Does him dying make it hurt less? Now, 
His will stated that I'm getting the majority of his estate. His parents got a generous amount of for their retirement. His nephew got money for college. I got everything else, including the apartments. He had a letter where he told me he was sorry about everything. He never stopped loving me or thinking of me. In his mind, I was still his wife. He never got over the loss of our baby and he felt responsible for my miscarriage. He seemed really remorseful and he seemed to have followed me closely. He knew my husband's name, my children's name, and my current job. I appreciate the letter, but it made me feel so guilty that I didn't give him his last wish. My ex-in-laws are now asking me to be fair and to share the inheritance with his girlfriend or else she would be on the street. Since she met him, she dropped out of college and never worked a day in her life and she has nothing to her name. The girlfriend is threatening to contest the will, says that I've used and abused him and his trust. I've manipulated him to give me everything and that she won't leave her home. I don't know what to do. Well, um, <laughs> first thing I'll say, yeah. Yeah, keep it to be honest, just keep it. I won't lie, like she, okay, is, listen, she doesn't the girl okay, the yeah. ex wife mm -hmm. does not have the right to give the girlfriend anything. Yes. Right? If she wants to, if she's a nice person, she'll mm -hmm. say, Do you know what? Take a Look, fiber. I have a five is even to two euro. We go buy bread. <laughs> <laughs> but like, croissant, bread. like <laughs> croissant, you get what I deal. You know when they put with five of them for two euro. But <laughs> but I, I don't think she has the right. Even like even if the guy didn't leave it for the ex wife. Mm -hmm. Makes sense because that's not your wife anymore. Yeah. At the same time, you should have gave it all to the family. I'm like, mm. that's that's a bit. I feel like this is how acrimony should have ended. Mm. This is, you know, when you have poured your heart and your soul into someone, mm. and they leave you for someone younger after everything you've put into it, you mm. lose your baby, you lose everything. Mm -hmm. Is now when I'm now happily married. You're not looking for me. I be weary. Mm. You lost your senses. <laughs> that us. Mm. And then the, is even the family that has even had the audacity. Where mm. were you when he left me when mm. I was pregnant and yeah. I had a miscarriage? Mm. And now you're coming to call my phone and say because she was the Don Didi that dropped out of college. Because she thought she saw she one. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure that babe was probably like in her 20s. She's mm. thinking, oh, this is a 40 year old man. He's rich. Look at where I'm living. I Sugar never have to daddy. work again. Uh, this <laughs> is why it's important <laughs> for ass. women to have your own oh. shit. Yeah. Because niggas can trick what? Trick you. Trick you. Trick you. My trick, trick you. I, I don't know if you have time, but can I ask a question? Yeah. Real quick. Go on. Five minutes. Peanut. Prenup. Pre, pre, prenup. Pre, pre yes. Yeah, that's a prenup. I'm here for a prenup. That's a good yeah? I'm down for a prenup. You're signing it. I'd sign a prenup. <laughs> I don't need you. I plan on having my own money. Thank you. Yes. In fact, Thank you. I need to protect my own money. Any, 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 uh, it's just for I'm the peace. Gonna, if I'm going to say I'm going to sign a prenup, I'm already going to think it's over. Do you get me? I'm not going into marriage thinking about divorce. Yeah, but you're not, you're not going into marriage thinking about dough. Your dough is your dough. My dough is my dough. It's not about thinking about all divorce. I think all no, divorce, what I'm saying like, is like, if I'm going to go get married, I'm not saying I'm completely opposed to it, but if I am if I'm, if I choose to marry dealt. someone, yeah. no, there's going to be no but doubt. But no, I think people also confuse prenups. Like, a prenup is for you to separate your assets that you had before you're married. When mm. you're married, you get to split that stuff. And then people can also adjust the prenup. So it could be like a thing. I know there was this girl in Real Housewives of Atlanta. She married this rich guy and the prenup was for five years. Mm. It was like, if you are truly marrying me for love for the first five years, mm -hmm. if we get divorced, you get nothing. Mm. But after those five years, this is what you get. So you mm. can adjust your prenup to suit whatever also, it is. I'm staying for five years one day. Do you get me? Like, <laughs> like what? But, but that's, that's, as well. like, that's like, that's but what you guys do. Five Five years, five years is still a long time. Oh, you end up like that guy. You can't you, fake it for five years. You can't fake it for five years. Five years. You can fake it. For five years. Look, You're an actor. For give, him the like, give him the look, mic. Look, yeah. Look, let's be so real here, yeah. You know that you don't have up to 10K in your account. They tell you five years, you're going to have over 2 million in your account. You're going to do it. Uh, no, but what I'm saying is that for someone to successfully fake for five years, you can fake it. and your other partner is not going to see the cracks. Nah. Perfect. Every day for five fake. years. But the fact there's wow. going to be signs there that this person does not just F with you. You can trust me, you can fake it. Just stay for five years. They already know. Do you get me? They already know. Yeah, but like know. for me, I'm not saying, like, I wouldn't sign, I'm not saying I'm signing it because I'm planning, oh, there's going to be diverse. No, it's like, my shit is my shit. If that's the same way, if you if you make more than me, that's calm. Mm. You, I'll sign it as well because because your money is your money. Yeah. People but, say, oh, so what's it? When like marriage is not about money. When we're together, yes, that doesn't mean I'm not gonna spend on you. Mm. But my own money is my money. But then like Hakimi, 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 yeah, yes, unity. I I get it, but it's like you don't like. I don't know. I, I'd say I I'd really sign a prenup. I think prenups and like Hakimi life insurance is kind of the same thing. You guys don't plan to die. Mm. You guys don't plan to divorce. Mm. However, just so everyone is safe, everyone is okay, just Cautious sign it. Time, yeah. Yeah. Life insurance is very, hey, get yourself life insurance, man. Don't leave your kids. Yeah. There's a, there a footballer, right? There's a footballer, Hakimi. He was with a girl, 
Uh, the girl was all lovey dovey. Oh my god, I'm marrying a footballer. Cool, cool, cool. Files for divorce. But luckily, Hakimi put his money, sent it to his mom. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, we spoke about this. She gave me, so it's like, after got through with me. That girl, that girl <laughs> was wicked, but she wasn't really that wicked because she didn't get yeah, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you just she have to be smart with it. So yeah, we free, do have to round up. Thank you guys so much for coming. Honestly, you guys are the best. You guys made me chuckle and laugh. Maybe for this a part two. such a fun Definitely. party. You guys have to please come back. For sure, man. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, and we can talk more next time. Yeah, you need to ask more. I'm ready to talk, like, innit? I'm ready, I'm ready. Like, you need to ask more. Don't worry, we're bringing you back. some questions, but I guess you guys are holding back. But I get you shy, first round, second round. We'll go Same again. Round. Part two. But thank you guys for tuning in. Manager. Thanks. And tune in next week thank for you. your weekly subscription to the gym. Sorry, guys. They would have to go. He really has to go.